I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Good day everyone and welcome to another weekend crafty night here with mommy guide but it's not the actual weekend it's a pre-weekend it's friday hold on guys thank you so much with swims for telling me that it's easy ways to distress with stress <laughs> all right what what a title all right so there i changed it thank you so much miss Wims. all right so hold on that's just um lower the you know i'm doing a different setup because the monitor i have is so huge so normally i have to look up like that to look at my screen and now um my mouse is gone <laughs> okay hold on i'm trying to see where my mouse is okay it says connected but i still can't see it Close this one. Where is the mouse? Come on, mouse. So how is everyone? I was thinking earlier, sabi ni Miss Wins, how can we do it? <laughs> Distress with stress? It's like, okay, the absolute opposites, right? So it can't be. You're right, Miss Wim. Okay, the thing is, I can't find my... And I don't have my stream deck with me. So, okay, this is what happens. We Okay, so but I cannot find where my mouse is. So I cannot click on any of the scenes. Well, I think I just have to read the messages right. So we're just waiting for um Diana to come in. Um because it's pretty early here. It's only 7 a.m. So 8 p.m. sa atin is 7 a.m. here. Okay, ah, there's the mouse, but it's stuck to the side. Okay, so it's not moving. But I saw it already, guys. Okay, I just don't know how I'm gonna make it work. Come on, mouse, move. move. Okay, there you go. Okay, see, thank you so much for your patience, guys. Yes, hello, everyone. Okay, let's make sure that we also see Diana. Okay. So make and do crafts. Hi, Diana. Yes, thank you for another Diane. Okay, hers is Diane. Okay, our guest is Diane. All right, so almost similar. Okay, so both are very, very um, great artists, friends of mine. Good evening from my dear daughter. Good evening. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Of course, Tina One Kenobi is joining us later tonight. There you go. Hi, make and do crafts and whims. Good afternoon. Yes, it's good afternoon for Diane because she is in the UK. So guys, Make and Do Crafts does her live every Sunday nights about 
10 p.m. Philippine time. So if you get the chance, please do follow her on her YouTube channel and Facebook so you can be in the uh, chat if ever she goes live. There you go. Okay, thank you again, Miss Wims, for telling me about my boo boo, about my title. And then the other time, it's most like, I think my shorts, I said sneak peek. You know, the peek is P E A K. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> diba? Okay. I was thinking earlier, how could we do it? Exactly. Thank you again, Miss Wims. And hi, John. Thank you so much for dropping by anak. Catchy title. <laughs> Did it stress you a bit, Wims? <laughs> yes. That would have been like, ha. <laughs> yes. And of course, the fine art of distraction. Hello, Nathan. Excited much to be able to stream with you again when I get back. And of course, we have Ati Margie, Ati Marge Sweets. That's her new channel, guys. So if you're not yet subscribed to her or to anybody that you see here in the chat, okay, si John Lucy, Lucito na naman ako, Lucito, okay, is joining us today from Facebook. Okay, hello, Mommy G. Hi, Marie. Hello, Miss Tin. Hi, Lala. And of course, my son. My son is joining us tonight. Hello, po. Nice to see you live streaming, po. That's my son, B-Boy's Corner. That's Jose Luis. All right. And finally, oops, nawala. But Diane, Diana was actually coming in already. So she'll probably have to do it again. I was trying to find some beauty with stress. So I can distress. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Actually, I have a surprise. I just posted it on Facebook. Okay, so Diana doesn't only do 2D uh, art. She also does digital art. And as winner okay, of Team Bahay tonight, you will get a free class courtesy of Mommy Guide Inc. for one of her classes, which is digital um, animation using Procreate. Okay, so please do join us for Team Bahay for tonight. What's Team Bahay? Okay, um, Diana is gonna show us how to actually distress using her art. Okay, using our art. And because she knows that our community loves mixed media and journaling, so she will actually apply that distressing activity onto those medium. Okay, so just hold on. Okay, we're still trying to bring in Diana. Okay, good evening, good evening, Miss KM, Miss KM. Hello, hello. Super Floop, hello. Okay, thank you so much for greeting everybody. And gandang gabi everyone, mommy guide. Hello, simply Lorenzo, Miss Kapatid. Yes, no. <laughs> Super Floop, I'm happy to see you too. There you go. Thank you so much sa atin din YouTube community, guys. We also have um, a raffle for tonight, okay? So for those who joined us, um, yesterday, during our episode with Heather Roma, if you missed it, please do watch on replay. It's super nice and it's applicable for every any content creator and those starting off their business or actually have a business but want to niche down. Okay, so those who joined us there and today will actually be part of the raffle that Norman, okay, Sir Norman's Diary is going to do on his channel. So we're gonna raffling out 10 50 peso GC on uh, Sir Norman's uh, Diaries stream, okay? Just watch out for the announcement when it's gonna happen. I'm gonna ask Sir Norman, but he said probably this weekend, okay? So, okay. <laughs> Hi, Wims. Looking forward to the stream. Yes, I, I, me too. Hello, Master Red. Make and do crafts. Yes, thank you so much, Sam. Yes, put the night bot on so that we can share the links of the community. Actually, Miss Wims has a new channel. Okay, also. So, I hope that you follow that as well. Okay, and we have Doc Ree. Hi, Doc Ree. Where are you, Lala? Um, Diane. Yes, I'm in Washington, D.C. That's my background. Okay, so you see there the Capitol and then the Jefferson Monument, the Washington Monument, and the Lincoln Memorial. So actually, if it's like that, so and then uh, the... What's that? What's the other one? I know that's the Capitol. That's the Lincoln Memorial. That's the Jefferson Memorial. That's the Washington. And then that one probably... The White House. <laughs> okay, so there. She's in Washington, D.C. Megan Newcrafts. Thank you, B-Boy. Hey, guys. 
what why I'm so excited by Ada Mini Pro ah oh god that's great Nathan that means we can have you back again yes let's fix our audio this time and Ate Julia Meryl channel maraming salamat po for dropping by yes salamat Ate Julia Ito na po ang ating mga Pinoy YouTube community. Maraming salamat din, Miss Igarotak. Mega, mega love shout out. Wow, how amazing. Yes, Diane, I actually brought my gear with me. So, but then not all. So, I have very limited uh, tech still. But uh, I'm, I, I wasn't able to actually do my live stream initially the first time I was, the day I was here. But, um... Victor helped me tweak everything and so now this is actually my third time to go live, right? Awesome! Excited, excited. You could visit Angie Mason while you're there. Oh, where is Angie, Nathan? I'm in the East Coast though. I'm in Washington, D.C. Is she nearby? I think she's in the West Coast, right? There you go, Pachipom. Pachipom, guys, that is Miss Wim's uh, second channel. This is um, his dog. Okay, and I hope that if you're not yet subscribed to him, please do so. Simply Shorts Master. Wow, ang taray ng ano ni, ni ano, ni, uh, this is uh, Simply Lorenzo's, I think, second channel. Ayan. Again, guys, so I will include all of those who are here in the comments, okay, um, in the raffle that's gonna happen, Kesser Norman's Diary. I love the topic yesterday. It will help me with this channel. Thank you, Pochi Pom. Go, so, if you've been liking that, that's actually part of my um, my audio, my, my video podcast. So, this coming December, I'm gonna have a vlog mass. So, it's gonna be going live every day with different content creators. There are still several dates open. So, if you want to be part of that one, it's a um, maximum of an hour. I have in my Facebook page. Um, you can copy, edit, and paste. And choose the time or the, I'm sorry the date okay in December that you want to be part of my vlog mass so there are still several dates open so I'm gonna go live every day in December from December 1 to the 31st and I hope that you can join me in that one okay it's a um, print since it's a podcast so it's more of talking head and less than an hour or so Okay, and I also love tonight's topic because there is something I want to finish. Yay! Thank you, Miss Wims. Not too sure exactly where she is. I'm planning to trip to America so I can visit her. And then I hope you include also a visit to the Philippines, Nathan. <laughs> right? But of course, visit Angie first. Yes, Nathan, if you can like ask where exactly Angie is, maybe if she is indeed here near the DC area, then I would... I would love it if we could meet. I actually met up with Helen, okay, Crafty Mama Diaries, um, last weekend. So, um, and she's we're gonna be meeting again, not this weekend, but next weekend. I will actually go live from her home. Yes, so I'm gonna spend uh, a weekend with her and the family, and we're also gonna do our live stream over there on Crafty Mama Diaries Crafty Space that's super awesome and excited so much about it okay I'm still waiting for Diana let me check up on her guys so sige ask lang kayo I'm backstage now I don't see you uh, oh yeah you are okay yay finally alright so we actually finally okay so before we do that Okay, let's lower the volume. Sorry, the background music was super, super loud. I forgot to lower it down. Okay, so our guest for tonight, okay, she's actually a friend, a crafty, and uh, no, an, an artsy and crafty friend I met in Lida. That's live every day in August, okay, this year. Although, actually, we've actually met last year also in Lida, but it was only this year that we really got get to uh, got to connect to each other right so as a legally blind artist diane's goal is to inform about vision disability and teach and inspire those wanting to be more creative her goal is to help you nurture your creative soul despite her obstacles in her case 
legally blind artist. Diana is an interdisciplinary artist creating in various 2D mediums, including mixed media, acrylic and caustic, and digital art. Her artwork is often autobiographical with an interest in whimsical abstract figure and represented in private and public collections worldwide. And she will tell you more about those things as we get to know more about her in a little bit. So without further ado, let's all welcome first time on Mommy Guide Inc. and on Crafty Nights here at Mommy Guide Inc. Diana, hi! Good Thank morning. Hi. So Oops. Okay, hold on. She's too big. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we weren't able to do a pre-tech rehearse. Okay, but we will. Okay, Diana is not that big. Don't worry, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me see. But if I do so, you become smaller. Maybe we can pan the camera a little farther. Diana? Can you? No. Sure. What should I do? Uh, if we can move the camera a little bit farther from you. Because I cannot control right from over here. A little bit farther. Okay. I, All okay, right, I there you go. You know how it is with tech guys, right? So we'll try. Yes, I can only make it, but your head is a little bit cut. Okay, let's, okay. let me see. Yes, and Diane of Make and Do Crafts. Do you remember Diane? Okay, is here and uh, she's saying hi to you as well. Um, and who's uh, here? Super... What's her okay. name? Okay, um, we lost your head though. Okay, okay, okay. I, I wasn't sure. I have to put it up higher then. I have to put my camera up higher. Okay, okay. There you so, go, then, guys. So my head's not cut off. Okay, All right. Okay, okay, hold on. I, I know I can mix it. I can Okay, so it. I'll, while Diana is fixing her setup. Okay, so let's stay with me first. Yes, okay, yes! Yes, Nathan, and hopefully when you do come back here together, probably hopefully with Giga Art, and we can, you know, hopefully do a face to face stream, right? Do the artwork together or, you know, whatever, something of a, an, a project, right? That's so exciting. Yes, how cool is this? What an inspiring story. You are such a blessing, Diana. Yes, much love for elevating the stories of disabled artists. Indeed, Anak. There you go. How Diana from Pochi Pom on Miss Wims. Master Red, salamat, salamat. Okay, so let's see. Let's check up on Diana if um, she's okay now. Okay. There you go. Uh huh. A little bit. Okay, what did no. we do? We maybe should I make it higher? Uh, yes, yes, a little bit higher. More, higher, higher. There you go. Okay. I guess it looks hot. Just I a little bit, a little bit more. Can we do it? A what? A tad yeah. more. Yes, I can. Hold on. I need a book this time because okay, I was just using the webcam, but this time I'll try a book. Is this a webcam now? Or, um... Yes. Yeah, this is okay. webcam. This webcam. Yay! There you go! We got it! See, I told you we can do this. <laughs> All right. So say hi. Hi, Diana. I think we're good. Hello. This is uh, better hi, than... Hi, everyone. So nice <laughs> to be here. Yeah, so everybody's already inspired just by the intro, Diana. Okay, so first and foremost, I know they would want to get to know more of you because, again, this is your first time here in the community. I think she was in the chat several times back uh, through I Facebook. I watched she, your replay. I think I've watched a lot of some of your replays. Yeah, she's actually on the replays and she comments on the replay because, you know, guys, it's uh, super early for her when we do live. It's like 7 a.m. for her, right? So she's absolute. So today is just an exception. She had to wake up early just for us. So thank you so much, Diana. Okay, so the question, first question is, Diana, maybe you could share with us your journey, your artistic journey um, <laughs> thus far. So that people can actually understand better where Serenity Art Studio, that's the name of your channel. Mm -hmm. And um, so talk a little bit about your business. Uh, well, I'm a lifelong artist. My art, my mm -hmm. artistic journey started, I'm, a, I'm lifelong and, and um, 
pretty much knew at age 14 that I wanted my dream was to be an artist at age 14 and my and I had parents that were very encouraging for me and I took all kinds of art programs and art classes and and I have three college degrees in art I and so my undergraduate and graduate degrees are all in art and wow. um, I had completely normal vision my whole life I was unknowingly born with a genetic hereditary retinal disease they were unknowingly born with it where the where more commonly people get it get it, it presents in childhood and oh. i have the more rare kind that it didn't even i it didn't present itself until my early 40s so i had completely normal vision uh all the way until my early 40s and that and then uh, i became legally blind and that from an extremely rare retinal disease that um but that does not mean total blindness. I'm, I'm here to always educate people that blindness is on a spectrum that starts mm -hmm. at 2200 vision. That's where it starts at 2200 vision and then goes all the, all the way to total blindness. And there's all different mm -hmm. levels and kinds of blindness in between. And it's my level of blindness. I'm very highly functional. I'm closer to the 2200 le level and I'm very highly functional. And in fact, it's like an invisible disability. I have no mobility issues. I don't need a cane or anything to walk. I have no mm -hmm. mobility issues. I just need devices like magnifiers and or cam readers to help mm -hmm. me with reading. I, I wow. wear this around neck all day long for spot reading but if i have to read longer things like books i have a special device called an orcam reader that it scans the text and reads to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you can still see but not ex not absolutely right yes, okay. I, I would call what they call low vision which is a, mm -hmm. a, a a determination of blindness where it, you're pretty highly functional i was able to keep my career of teaching art in a public school for 15 to 18 years past my diagnosis with because it's invisible nobody by looking at me can tell that i'm blind and so i was able to i was able to i'm highly functional could keep functioning doing that career i could keep doing that career even after 15 to 18 years past that my becoming legally blind and that hasn't stopped you even though you were diagnosed in your early 40s as you said that didn't stop you from actually you know, a teaching art, doing art, mm -hmm. right? It has right. actually even encouraged you to um, do this as um, part of your ministry to actually reach out to probably more people who have probably have the same um, disability at this point that to not stop doing what they love doing. And in your case, art, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much for that inspiring story, Diana. How, now, how about... How did you actually th thought of starting your mm -hmm. own, you know, channel? I know your channel has been mm -hmm. there for a while. Okay, yeah. what made you start, you know, creating or being a content creator, art content creator on mm -hmm. YouTube? Well, I actually first started blogging and I actually had a blogging coach back about eight, seven or eight years ago. I had a, I got into blogging. I was just loved reading other people's blogs, other art teacher, art teacher blogs at the time and, and began a blog and was hardly, hardly could get any audience on my blog at all. So I got a blogging coach and he told me, oh, for every blog that you make, you need to put a video in it. And I'm so mm. that's what started my YouTube channel that, okay, I have to start making a bit, put a video in each one of my blogs. And then I, and then I found that writing, because a blog requires about 500, between 500 and 1,000 words. And I found that I like to write, but the kind of write that, writing I like to do is expressive, cathartic writing. For, for me to write about certain topics, it, I, I find that harder. And so t I found mm -hmm. it easier to create a video. And, I, I, and then I just decided, well, I'm just going to stop writing blogs or sometimes I'll write them blo on blogs for my website. I mean, yeah, for my website, I still do sometimes, but I found it, I found it more fun and easier to create videos. And I just went that direction because uh, to spread the word, to spread the word of art, to share my art and to, uh, it's another platform for besides teaching in a school to share my art and teach mm -hmm. about art and and Correct. So actually, you've been you've been a content creator on YouTube and sharing all your videos and your passions through your videos for about three years now. 
No, more. seven. Seven. Oh, seven. Oh my gosh. All right. Seven, guys. So if you actually um, are wanting to you remember, Diana is a learned uh, art um, teacher. Okay. She graduated with three degrees. Okay. In art. Okay. So mm -hmm. she basically those all kinds of art technique, how to use all of this media. So if you want inspiration, you want to see you know, how things done, tips and techniques, there's a ton of uh, information and video content on her channel. So please, um, mm -hmm. everything is in the description in this video from all her social media um, handles. At the same time, please don't forget to like and subscribe her YouTube channel. And again, okay, there is even um, a lot about, you know, as I, do you know that she actually did the alcohol ink project on paper, regular paper? Oh, I, there was a period of time I did a, a couple years of alcohol ink painting and I've sold many of my alcohol ink paintings in my Etsy shop. They're very vibrant. I love the vibrancy of alcohol ink and uh, abs usually abstract landscapes and abstract florals. Yes, and, because lately, yeah. um, Diana, it's been uh, 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 because of uh, uh, one of our amazing artists in the community, KM Heartmade. She's in the chat actually mm -hmm. right now. She does this amazing alcohol ink uh, art projects. Uh, I mean, uh, paintings really like huge, bigger than this ones. Okay. Um, um, and that has inspired a lot of us to try it out so uh, but then we're all fairly new to it but km and others like tina actually created um, a live stream about it a few weeks i think two weeks ago so again um, diana has a lot of uh, um, content about that on her channel it's uh, serenity art studio as you can see there on the well technically it's serenity yeah. studio art on YouTube, oh. it's Serenity Studio <laughs> you Art. Okay, Serenity Studio Art. Okay, let me mm -hmm. let me correct that. Okay, Serenity. I, I have I have many playlists, like a playlist or about just about acrylic painting and tutorials and time lapses. Mm -hmm. I have another one about how to de-stress with art. I have another one about mixed media, and then I I think I need to put together a playlist of just my alcohol ink painting. Now that you remind yes, me, I think I yes, yes, and, I need oh, to put a and mixed media. I, do you have one for yes, mixed media? Yes, I have. I have a, yes, I have a playlist already about mixed media, and Yay. I think, and I think what I need to do is uh, go back and I have to make a playlist for my alcohol ink painting, and also my um. Di I think, and that I also do have a playlist for my digital digital painting. Oh yes, art. yes. Uh, talking about digital Diana. Okay, so Team Bahai winner for tonight gets a free class with uh, Diana for her digital class on animation using Procreate. So guys, all you need to do is join Team Bahai for tonight. Submit your work. Okay, so after our interview with Diana, we're gonna have an hour. I'll give you an hour to do so. Submit it on Discord, and we will do the raffle tonight. On top of again, okay, you all your names will be part of a raffle that will happen in Norman's Diaries stream this weekend. Uh, yeah, there you go, Diana. You're so inspiring That's from uh, Nathan. Yes, yes, oh, Dan. Thank you. That's you beginners. Go. I just want to say that the an the animation. Um, artistry class for, that's on done on Pre Procreate plus a few other little less very inexpensive apps. It is mm -hmm. beginners. Yes, beginner. Yes, beginner, beginner. Okay. So uh, in art, Wim says in art there is really no limitations. Everything is possible if you have the passion. Indeed, I know you would reso You could resonate with whimsical thoughts. She's also an artist, uh, Diana. Okay, she's also an amazing artist. Ah. Whimsical spot on. Idol Raynan, hello, mega love shout out po, ha, Idol Raynan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdaan. Ayan, okay. There you go. Uh, thanks for the clarification, Diana. Also, I tend to forget uh, bound, uh, that boundless is indeed a spectrum. There you go. Sorry, guys, if I've missed some of the chat. Okay. Wow, seven years. Yes, seven years as a content creator on youtube okay but as an artist oh definitely longer than that i just subscribed to diana's channel thank you so much oh, nathan thank you. thank you thank you 
and I hope that everyone would also do so. She also does shorts, guys. So you need to be able to actually uh, to watch it. Just make sure that you hit the notification bell. All right. So Renzi Licious, hello po, mega love shout out. And Anna, hi Anna, good morning, a blessed morning to you as well, Anna. All right, I don't. I hope you remember Anna Zagari from Lida as yeah. well. Oh, I yes. wonder if I know her under a different name. Um, <laughs> yes, it's, I think Faith Fifty Two. Oh. Yes, there, Anna. Yeah. Okay, so moving on with our uh, interview for today before we actually... I know you guys are excited for the art, but uh, hold on. Hold on for that. <laughs> so, okay, so we now we know what um, actually inspired you to create your channel and to cre- to do what you do. But um, the most... Uh, top of mind, a lot of people ask this question. Is art really for all? Can anybody and everybody actually do art, Diana? Well, yes. And I come from the background of teaching elementary school art. That was my career. My career for 25 years was teaching elementary school aged art uh, K through K through five. And there, I, it, it, back then is pretty much when I started my philosophy that art is for everyone that even like kids that come in i mean there's of course i was dealing with kids that had more ability and more experience and less experience and less ability but it art was for all of them and i could and i could deal i could deal with them on their level for whatever whatever level they came in i there was something that art could still be beneficial for them and i could and I could tweak my lessons towards those kids and stuff that uh, needed that did, needed more support and everything and art. So, and, and but as at the adult level, mm-hmm. um, art is for everyone because there's different kinds of creative processes. So there's the kind of creative process where okay, I'm a real professional artist and everything I paint is going to be in a show and hang on a wall and I'm going to sell. Okay, that's one cre- that's one creative process. N- not everybody that's not every that doesn't have to be everybody's creative process. There's another cre- there's another creative process where it's um Art is for you, for your self-healing, for your self-care. Art actually nurturing your inner artist. If you have an inner artist, that inner artist needs to be nurtured. It needs to be acknowledged. That inner artist needs to be nurtured. It's a part of you. It's a part of you that cannot be ignored. And if if you do ignore it, you you'll probably find you will probably find that you're there's parts of you that are unhappy. There's a parts of you that are unhappy and unfulfilled because th- that inner artist is actually a part of you that if you actually deny that inner artist that's in you, it's like destroying a part of you. It's like destroy. It's like ignoring and destroying wow. a part of you. That's, inside that's something, you. you know, that I've never actually um, thought about, you know, for me, art was just, you know, an activity that, you know, you should do because you like it, you're very passionate about it. Mm-hmm. But actually, that side of what art can give to us, right? So, it's something that I've not heard of that much. Yeah. So, and because of that, that is actually one of the passions that Diana wants to actually inspire everybody to do through their art right so and she has actually inspired me as well to not stress about my art or the lack of art right Uh, sometimes i right refer to myself as a crafter not an artist but as diana said no everybody can do art right and there's a deeper thing that you can actually learn or um, get from doing art and that's actually it can also be a source of relaxation or distress or a distressing activity and something that you can use to actually get to know more okay about yourself right? yes so, get to know more about yourself so how how does one do that diana so like for example one uh, and this kind of relates to art therapy. They could do kinds of these activities of in art therapy. So, and what I what I'm talking about 
kind of borders into art therapy kinds of approaches, but I'm not an art therapist. I've just been reading about it. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, so for example, the, the, this, the art that you might create in, in some of my activities is not, is not necessarily meant to be seen by anybody. So mm -hmm. like for, so like, say for example, in your art journal, the, the prompt would be, um, I can't think of the prompt because I'm going to do it. I, no, that no, no, there's an activity I do where they, you imagine like you put your hand on your heart and mm -hmm. you imagine a feeling, especially maybe if you're trying to de-stress or something, but it didn't have to be if it, you were trying to be, do something distressful, you put your hand on your heart and close your eyes mm -hmm. and then, and then acknowledge the feeling that comes up, like whatever feeling you feel is coming up. And then you, give visualization, give a kind of image for it. Like if it could, if it could have an image, what kind of image, what kind of colors would it have? Then you open your eyes and then you, you start drawing that image and it could be a totally abstract image, like just colors that colors that remind you of that feeling and images. And, um, and then after, and then afterwards you do reflective writing. Reflective writing is actually when you look at your artwork now and take some notes about it, you ask yourself some questions and actually be reflective about it and think about reflecting means thinking about it and then think about so Let's focus on uh, her workspace now. Okay. Okay. Right. So you're taking me off the camera, right? So I can okay all right so yeah, just me okay camera. so diana is going to just fix her camera okay we tried to do like a two camera setup but it's quite hard for her at this point because she just changed gears so she's still learning how to actually adjust with the new gears that she has so she's uh going to just put her face cam and use it as an overhead cam but you can still um, hear her voice. This is the exciting part. Okay, how she actually creates art. But of course, there are tons of uh, videos of uh, her creating art. Actually, right now, Diana, you are actually part of. You're an in-house artist. What do you call that? Not not in-house artist. Oh, artist. I have an artist residency. Yes, yes artist I got residency. I got I got selected for, to be an an artist residency at one of my local art centers. For nine yes. months, I get free studio space and a solo show next year. Yeah, so she is. She has an upcoming solo show next year and a resident artist at this point. So not everybody can actually be invited for that one, right? Again, it has. It's by oh, invitation. No, you, have to, <laughs> you have to apply for it oh, and say yes, what, apply. like, what is it that you want to try to do on the artist residency mm -hmm. and. And many people apply for it, but they only they only select two people. Okay. All right. So let's see if Diana is ready. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So Diana is okay. Going to show you some of her um, art journal. And then um, she will uh, guide us. to. So if you want to work alongside her right now, then please feel free to do so. Okay, Diana, go ahead. So... Okay, is it okay? Does the ha camera look okay? Yes. Okay. It does. It so, it looks. Is this oh, your art journal? Have, yes, this is my art journal. I was able to create a background ahead of time because my camera goes wacky for some reason. I we've never been able to figure out with, with the white with white. So now I'm starting with a background. But I just wanted to show you some of my intuitive, uh, expressive art journaling. Okay. We're at, I use collage, painting, drawing. Okay, so we are having a peek uh, into her uh, art journal. Oh, I see. You're not catching all. I, I think I have to raise up my camera because so you can yes, see. Yes, it's like those. one half of the page. There you go. Yeah. Uh, a little okay, bit I more higher. A little higher. But we are able to catch one of half of the page. Okay, guys. Uh, so we're just tweaking, but you can see, okay, um, some of the pages. And then uh, Diane is going to um, guide us through how probably some of these were created. Yeah. So you can see, um, it's just. Um, oh, that's so uh, nice. I like that. Yeah, I, thank you. I, I, 
and I in these three particular past pages I did them a, a week ago I worked like on five spreads and I and my process was not think was not thinking too much and I'll, I'll go mm -hmm. into that about that Wow awesome guys right this one is yeah. more or less my I, I'm more of a colorist so here I, I I enjoyed like putting the color down and then putting like a white layer on top that would let, let some of the colors peek, peek through I thought that was cool yes it's it's beautiful and um, Marcus says so too amazing congratulations uh, so now this is now you guys just go ahead and work on white paper but I cannot so pretend mine is white because it's not because I couldn't mm -hmm. I can't work on the white paper because my camera so yeah so Diana is gonna start with a colored background but you guys can start with a white one she yeah, said so go ahead and yeah. just start with your white background I'm just mm -hmm. not able to because tech reasons I'm not mm -hmm. so the the first step is something it's a, it's a step that I just really enjoy and it's called stream of thought cathartic writing and it, it can mm -hmm. be illegible like it's totally illegible it can be illegible writing and wait I just let me check my notes for a minute okay so let's try to do this okay so well um, Diana is going through that uh, Marcus says amazing congratulations and Diane beautiful mm -hmm. art she said uh, Diana oh, and you. Marcus again saying that is stunning love it yes she's an awesome artist indeed well, I did. Oh, I just wanted to mention. I have a few mottos that that kind of that kind of uh, like tie tie up and say concisely kind of my my philosophy. C can I share some of my mottos right now? Yes, yes. Go ahead, Diana. Okay. One of my mottos is: you don't need to see twenty twenty to have artistic vision. Because mm -hmm. you know, twenty twenty means you have perfect vision. It's called twenty twenty vision. You know, when you have perfect vision. So my motto is you don't need to see 2020 to have artistic vision. That's one of them. That's nice. That's and inspiring, right? I actually got one of my art grants because I started my art grant with that thing to catch their attention at the very beginning, to catch their attention right at the beginning, saying, mm -hmm. although I'm a, a professional artist and art educator, I you don't need 2020 to have artistic vision to for, for me to express I mean to pursue my vision that I have for my work with the kids and my own work okay um that's nice okay so we're we're seeing a, a blue background right now on one of your um art pages okay uh, we're art channel pages and just uh, these are just quick and then another another uh, uh motto that i like is we are all creative beings created to create mm. and that doesn't mean art like cre being creative doesn't necessarily mean art it could mm -mm. problem solving is creative mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and nice motos and then my other one is embrace imperfection. Oh, I should embrace that. <laughs> I'm so imperfect. Embrace imperfection. Oh, embrace it. And and here's my last one. Make a mess and have fun. All right. Make a mess. The kids would love that. Make a mess and have fun. <laughs> no, it's good for adults too. That's All very right. good for adults. Exactly. <laughs> And we have Rich. Hi, Rich. Thanks for dropping by. Wim says, love your art, Diana. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh. So she's just preparing the stuff that she's going to be using. We're still seeing. Uh, this is a page a spread on her um, art journal that uh, she will actually um, add some more elements onto. Okay. Diana, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Wait, I just want to check. Okay, now I see my notes for that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, all right, so the first. So now the first layer is 
not 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 making color you don't have to make color of course that's, i'm doing that for tech reasons for my camera it does, um doesn't like white so uh, with a marker any color any color marker and you can do it actually with even more than one color marker so i white would show good up on that on the black and this is not meant to be seen actually it's going to be painted over most of it's going to get painted over so this is what i call like to call stream of thought cathartic writing so as a way to de-stress as a way to de-stress you start thinking about things that are stressing you out and you are just kind of writing quickly and and this, <coughs> this would take a long time to kind of fill up the whole page normally mm -hmm. you would like fill up both pages like that i'm just and it and it does not i'm not it's illegible writing you're not meant to go back and read this this is not meant to go back and read. This is just meant to be cathartic and um, oh, and expressive. So, so go just ahead go and, ahead and write whatever you feel is causing yes. you to have stress. Doesn't yeah, have to be nice handwriting, you know. No, no ha nice handwriting. This is going to get painted over. Um, I'm. Mm -hmm. You're going to see. I'm going to write fast. I'm. I'm I like to write fast and. And it's in it's illegible writing. You can't see it because it's not meant to be go. It's not meant to go over back and read. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like just dumping all the negativity. Oh yeah, I guess you could call it a brain writing. dump. I've heard that. Oh, and this my. I'm having a problem with my white war my white marker. Oh, the Posca. Yeah, white marker always is very tricky, right? And the white would have shown up the best and it's, it's not so maybe you're not gonna be able to see my writing that good mm -hmm. again and, as you and, said this doesn't have to be something that you're supposed to actually go back and read because it will be covered but it's more of as you said a cathartic way of just actually um putting down into visual words that you can actually words. see right and it's yeah, like in, in a way letting go <laughs> yes okay yeah a way to release and express mm -hmm, there you go because sometimes it just stays on our mind in our thoughts and it occupies that and eventually sometimes can overcome you know um or affect our daily lives so this is a nice way to just actually okay relieve yourself from them by putting them down there and let it stay there <laughs> go away <laughs> all right how about you guys what are you doing at this point are you trying to work alongside diana what uh project do you plan to do for tonight okay so there you go Diana is just putting down all the notes okay, or thoughts that she has that are causing her stress onto her um, art journal. Guys, at this point, I do not have any uh, material um, other than my gear. So I will not be able to create anything tonight. But Tino and Kenobi, my dear friend, will be the one who will have an output tonight. So host lang ang lola nyo tonight. <laughs> Okay, but hopefully in the next coming streams, I will have gotten a hold of some craft or art materials so I can join everybody again. So there. So it doesn't matter what kind of writing tool, right? Marker, calligraphy no. pen, pencil, whatever. Oh, no, that's just... right. No, no, none of that matters. And just, mm -hmm. I kind of like having something that shows up. My first few markers I tried, they didn't show up. So now I found a marker that's showing up better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an Arteza one. Yeah, I've heard of, of that brand. Do you like Arteza? Um, this is my second pack that I bought. And I don't know that I will buy a third pack. Um, mm, I think I go. might... I might be going with some more expensive markers just because uh, I might get more mileage out of expensive markers like Posca or mm, okay. uh, like, po yeah, Posca yeah. markers. I might get a whole pack of Posca markers in the future. We also love Posca, especially the white ones. 
Yeah, that now from the white ones, that is what I have specifically, Posca. And I'm having mm -hmm. hit or miss results. I used to love them for a while, for mm -hmm. years, but um, um, it does dry up too fast, right? So if you're gonna use it, so, yeah, make sure that you create a lot of projects already, otherwise, it's gonna dry up. <laughs> I think that's the, um, I don't know, the character of white. Because even with acrylic paints, mm. the white, or with, the, you know, distress inks, anything that's white, it's very tricky. It dries up too fast or hardens fast. Idol Rainan, maraming salamat for staying pa rin po and watching. Yan, si Idol Rainan po ay isa sa community natin sa Filipino YouTube community. Napakagaling pong kumanta. He's a great singer. Ayan. And again, Rich, thanks for dropping by. Alright, so now you've filled all the pages. Both of the pages, you're spread. Okay, actually, with, uh, I, yes, I just words. feel some of it. Normally, I would actually feel it more top to bottom, but that's just enough for now. And mm -hmm. just for, because, of the, because of the process of this um, being on camera, but th that's enough for now. And then mm -hmm. the next thing is, is, is sealing it with a prayer and you write on the diagonal so you write teach me show me guide me mm -hmm. so teach me teach me and then so in kind of like in response to like whatever those stresses were or mm -hmm. or feelings or any kind of questions that you might have about what's going on and stuff that now on the diagonal in different call in a different color it's it's called sealing it with a prayer so, of like teach me guide me show me mm -hmm. so there so that is in a way diana is showing us how to actually now that you've identified what are the things that are causing you to have stress or be stressed and after putting them down now you try to get rid of it okay but by doing what she calls a uh, what's the step again, Diana? Prayer? Nope. Sealing it with a prayer. Sealing, sealing with a prayer. Okay, so you you write diagonally. Okay, again, above those words, doesn't matter. Okay, no, it's totally, now them. it's going to get, you know, see all like mixed up. And and now it, the, the point is just the expressiveness of it, not going mm -hmm. back and reading it. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so after this activity and this show tonight, I hope that you will have a great, you know, a sleep, okay? So you'll have a very um, nice sleep or fitful sleep. Okay, there you go. So Diana is writing across all those words that she had written a few in a different um, color. minutes that, back. In a, in a different, different color. color. Yes. So that one's, I think, pink. Although it doesn't show exactly on the... Oh, yes. Know. I guess if I... Technically, if you want another color, it is... Yes, my yes, daughter is a fan of Bosco Mark. Rose pink. A uh, rose pink. There you go. And Rich is saying hi to Sam. Super fluke. Oh, the, is that Sam Superstar? Ah, uh, no, no, Super Floop. That's uh, Sammy, my daughter. <laughs> oh. she is uh, my moderator. So it's so nice oh, to have a daughter who can be my moderator. <laughs> the one that's in college. Yes, yes, she is the one. She's actually the one who started me out with art. She's the the artist in the family. I'm a crafter. Oh, She's the artist. Okay. She paints. Uh, her medium is uh, acrylic. She tried oil, but she has difficulty with oil, so she stayed yeah. with acrylic. So okay, I'm done with that that step of okay. writing. So, wait, I um, check Miss Miss Wims, yung camera niya yung problem hindi na maiangat. So, yan talaga yan. Tingnan mo. Maski na i-zoom out ko yan, yan pa rin ang makikita nyo. Liliit lang. See? Oh, lumiliit lang. Okay? So, it's yung camera niya, hindi niya na maayos. Oo. So, Diana, they're asking, is it possible to like, 
lift the camera a little bit higher still so they can okay, see the full okay. spread. They want to see the full spread. They're excited to see the full spread. Okay, actually, oh my god, that's as, that, that's as high as I can get it. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. guys, that's okay, the highest. I can, okay, okay. I, can, I can move something else. I can move something else. Okay, but, but be careful though. <laughs> I hope nothing falls. Alright, so she's trying, no. going to try her best. Okay, so... Okay... There you go, there you go. What is the size of this art journal, Diana? Oh, it's just, um... I, like, um... What do you call like nine that? By, nine by, like, 9 by 12. It's like, the, when you open it... I would say that's like 9 by 12. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then so when you open it up, that's nine by nine by twenty-four. I mean mm -hmm. I mean I'm twelve twenty-four by eighteen. Mm -mm. So this is the best we can do, guys, at this point. Alright, so whether I do it this way, this way, it's the same. Right? So Wow, I don't okay. know. I've never had this problem. I'm not usually yeah. I, everything shows. I don't know. But I don't, don't know. worry, guys, because there are a lot of videos about, you know, Diana doing artworks on her channel oh, there that's better then okay, okay. Move the book there we go i moved the book over okay okay that's better okay, that's all right better. so okay. from there what's what's next okay so next after you sealed it painting. with a prayer okay, yeah yes yeah. so after sealing it with a prayer next next step is painting and choose paintings that are calling to you choose the paintings that that you want to work with and I'm I'm gonna choose OFW Ako, thanks for dropping by. It reminded me of a friend who paints who also writes over her paintings and it completes the story of her work. Yeah, right? uh, who does that? Um Wims. Miss Wims. Remember she's um the engineer turned artist. Oh, nice. Uh -oh, she says that it reminded uh, your art right now that she's seeing is uh, reminding her of a friend who paints, who also writes over her paintings and it completes the story of her work. Oh. So, right, one of my first, I'm, I'm choosing, I love this color pink. <laughs> your that hair, pink. right? Oh, no, your hair used to be purple and pink. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I haven't been to the um. Well, my next appointment to the hairdressers is like in two weeks, and um, uh, right now it's faded out. Not, so I might be getting it. I might be getting it back again. That we'll see. And this shade of blue, I love that. That's a, that's a metallic blue. I happen to have some a whole bunch of metallic colors. Mm -hmm. So these are all acrylic paints, right, Diana? Yes, all acrylic yes, paints. Some all of acrylic. them are metallic paints. Some of them are neon paints, but yes, okay. they're all acrylic. Okay, again, guys, if you don't want to use acrylic, that's fine. You use you can what use you have. Yes. Or temper if you had to. Like temper is more student grade. Of course, mm -hmm. there's I know there's the real fancy art egg artist tempera, but I'm sure most of you aren't using that. That's that's a very complex process. But the children's tempera paint or mm -hmm. acrylic paint or oil paint. I mean not oil paint. Acrylic yeah. paint, watercolor paint, or a children's tempera paint. Yes, and Diane Ashmer say, I love how the writing looks over the background and the color choices. Thank you. And uh, Miss Wims is actually agreeing at uh, Diane, and the handwriting adds character. But then again, I think in a little bit, those handwritings will be gone. No, the thing is, I love it when writing shows through. I love actually in my oh. regular artwork, I love including writing uh, words and writing with my art. I love mm -hmm. it if words show through and all that, because I sometimes okay. do this on canvases, canvases that you, canvases that I'm working on. I, mm -hmm. I will do whole writing, writing on it, and then um, mm -hmm. fill the whole canvas with writing, and then when when some of the writing shows through like if, if you saw some of these on my journal pages you saw some of the writing show through uh, mm -hmm. i act, i just love that quality of the writing showing through yes it adds character right and um Wims is asking is tempera like gouache 
Uh, gouache is a good one. I'm sorry. I, I've I, like my specialty is painting. I've painted in almost every medium you can think of, except mm -hmm. for never egg tempera, and I've never painted in gouache. I painted watercolor, encaustic, mixed media, mm -hmm. oil, acrylic, watercolor. Mm, okay, there you gouache go. Is, actually, gouache is one of the ones that I have less experience in. Yeah. Why is that? Is there a reason, particular but no, reason for? Oh, but oh, hold on. But gouache is a, a, a professional. That's a prof more professional quality of paint than children's tempera. So yes, mm. gouache is a good one. But and mm -hmm. is there a reason why I've never painted gouache? I it just never came. Out, I don't know. Actually, these this watercolor set that I have is mm -hmm. almost on the gouache side. Like it's, I've heard that it's like not. It's not, it's like Kurosaki, Kurosaki Japanese watercolors. And I've been told that they kind of run over into the gouache side. And, and oh, really? Yeah, I think I have that. The it's just one. an overlook that I, for, I, for some reason, I don't know why I've never tried gouache. I mean, I'm not against it, but for right now, I have all the, I have so many different paints that I, I don't <laughs> feel like spending paint on gouache. I got it. But May, I might I might consider that. I might consider that maybe in the future for something to experiment with this year. Yes. Looking forward to that. All right. So now you've chosen your... So you choose your color. Again, how did you choose those colors, Diane? Just, you know, things that... Something... Things that I think will look good with this blue bur pur blue purple background, like orange is con is a con is a complementary color. It's the opposite on the color wheel to the blue and, and just like that i think it will pop like orange like a color like this will pop mm. uh, here a darker purple that's not going to pop but um it's nice to go with what's already there blue mm. like again it picks up the color that's already there green green is in the same color family color it's a cool color so it go that that's a cool color and goes in with what's already there the blue and purple pink again is a color that could pop mm -mm. gold i've always gold is um i i just feel like that that would be an, an that is a nice gold i think goes with everything <laughs> wow thank you so much for sharing all this you know why the reasons are behind why you chose those uh, colors yeah it's you're really welcome nice to... and pink is just because i'm a pink addict i'm just like <laughs> i just like everything else has a touch of pink it just has even if it just has a touch of pink yes uh -huh, exactly all right and whims yeah. is saying i also haven't painted in gouache <laughs> but uh, diane likes using gouache see so different mm -hmm. artists different preferences and that is fine so the now you can... in you is so nice she said she said huh? uh, what did she say so nice she said your work's thank so you. nice so th thank you so you can either uh, put your paint out on a palette, and sometimes I do that. Sometimes mm -hmm. I just put it right, I squeeze it right on. I just squeeze it right on the paper. Mm -hmm. and Again, in terms of quantity, how much do you put on, the, no matter? Well, this is, I'm working on a pretty small surface here. Like I call this art journal surface kind of small, so I don't put on a lot. I just squeezed out mm -hmm. a little, and right now you can see like how much I squeezed on right there. Mm-hmm. And, I, and if it's too much, I can always wipe off with a paper towel. And right now, I'm not thinking about creating any picture. I'm just like, like my intuition is following. So now, right now, a lot mm -hmm. about this art journaling is intuitive and expressive. So we kind of already did, we did an expressive part with a cathartic stream of thought writing. And mm -hmm. then now, um, the, how you apply the paint. Like, I kind of want some of these layers to show through. I do not want to make this whole green, opaque color that's not going to, nothing's going to show through. I really love how layers, under under layers show through because it kind of, it kind of, um, it relates to like the history, kind of like, have you ever heard about like the history of how something was created? Like you can, when you go mm -hmm. back and you look at a work of art, you could say, Oh, and I see how this color overlaps that. And I see all these colors that are coming through and that those colors mm -hmm. came first before that. And it's just different layers of, and seeing how like you can, so you can actually see, see some of the process. Mm -hmm. 
so you don't need to cover it all up. No, I want some of these layers to show through. So I wanted that. See, I love how I just did this because the purple, some of the purple and blue are still showing through with some of that green. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I kind of want it. I do not want to add any pops of color yet. I think I want to add the pops of color later as just like little accents, little accents mm -hmm. of pops of color. So I keep wanting to, I, I keep wanting, I want to, now I'm using my purple metallic. Now I, I think I want to use some of the purple metallic now, which will, will show up less than that, that green will, but. Again, no rhyme or reason, just, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's following your intuition, whatever. And am I, whatever my intuition is saying, me, it's, it's totally going to be something maybe different than what your intuition is saying. But I just, mm -hmm. one of my tips would be just like let, let layers, let previous layers show through. Mm -hmm. Just watching you is like, mm -hmm. I am, <laughs> it's like I'm being hypnotized by the movement of your brushes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love watching people paint actually me too and now I see that it's, it's getting dark around the edges I might consider adding some white actually some white and while this paint is wet that white is going to or I could add this light pink this light pink would, would add I'd be able to let me I'm gonna add a little bit of white pink so while the while some of these colors are still wet so now mm -hmm. that see I'm that pink is mixing in with a purple, which I like. Creating variations, variations on the purple. It's, it's nice to have variations of colors. Very, like if you did painted purple, it's nice to have variations of mm -mm. one color. So it adds not, interest. Yes, I, I agree. But most of the time, I don't know how to achieve that. I, I know the theory. I know what I want to do. But achieving or executing, you know, that thing is where um, <clears throat> I normally fail. <laughs> or, um, no, but that's a negative word. Let's not use that tonight. I'm not able to achieve. <laughs> no, don't use the word fail. Yes, no fail. Everything is fine. And everything can be fixed and worked on. Like right now, I kind of feel like, okay, that's too much purple right here. And, and. And then I would want, actually, I would want some of that writing to still show through. And, and I would, and I could, I would actually probably go back in after this paint was dry and go in and add more writing there. But now I can, now I feel like I want to add some more purple, but this, this needs to dry a little bit. I don't know how fast this is going to, I, can't, I don't know. I mean, I do have a dryer, but because right now if I added green on the purple those two colors um are not those two colors are what is it where they're more opposite on the color wait say green and purple green and purple are both complementary no, they're, they're both yeah. cool colors so anything in the cool if it's in the same color family should not create mud so mm. even though there was some pink in there I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I'm gonna, I like that green because it added a little bit of pop so I'm, I'm hoping that that will not create mud. So to me, I feel like there's a look. All right. <clears throat> so add a little bit more green. And my son is saying hi. Just came to say hi again. Hi. hi. Anna. Okay. And to tell you that your videos have ads. Actually, those are nice, Anak. When videos have ads, it means that the creator of that video can get also a little bit of monetization, right? But not so that's necessarily. Good YouTube started something new about a few months ago where... Oh, YouTube yeah. You don't have any has, more choice. <laughs> YouTube has reserved the right to play ads on ads, any exactly. videos, whether you're monetized or not. But if you're not monetized, they keep all the money. Exactly. So try as much as possible to get your channel monetized, right? So yes. anyway, you're going to get content... And, content uh to put out content anyways so that's okay that's fine b-boy because my son is like worried why are there ads <laughs> oh so ads here's the other okay. thing um i work intuitively where that i okay this is what i do i more recently in my art journaling i try mm -hmm. not to i i don't allow i don't try not to think too much because 
when you work intuitively, it bypasses the harsh, critical, overthinking left brain that oh, you don't, that's nice. you do not want the, the harsh, critical, the harsh, critical, overthinking left brain comes in and it's, it does not help the creative process. They don't go hand in hand that having that harsh critic sitting over your shoulder while you're creating is like, mm -hmm. no, nah, does not work. It does not work. It will stop you left and right. It'll make you feel like it's not good enough. It's fine. so this is how you deal with that inner critic. You, the inner Jeez. critic, you, you inner critic can come in every now and then to evaluate if it wants to evaluate to evaluate, but not during the creative process. During the creative process, I actually try not to think at all, not think too much. I'm trying to only through my intuition, what I feel like, what colors I feel like, what whims, what, however I feel like, and what images I want to use, what I feel like doing, what I want to do, just what I, what I feel like I want to do. And then then after maybe a half an hour, I could say, okay, inner critic, you can come in now and then say, okay. And then they can, they can evaluate. That's their time. They can evaluate if they want, but not during so the just whole go ahead. Time. Don't try to, you know, overthink things. Yeah, no, no overthink. Cause that's the other thing. Overthinking leads to self doubts, self doubts and, um, uh, leads to criticism so you get that the self-doubts the over the overthinking and the and the the, uh, the harsh the harsh critical thoughts that all stop you in your tracks in a creative process you they have to be left outside the door while you are in your creative process then you can let them in when you want to evaluate mm -hmm. It's actually still very pretty, even if you're not thinking about it, right? So yeah, I'm not. Yeah, so I'm probably like I, I like I kind of do things like okay, that, that's pleasing, that's pleasing, and then other times I'm like, I just want to add this color, and I just want to add that color, and I think like, oh, but you know, that's a that's a dark color that like is that really gonna go? But I don't. But I don't allow it. I don't let it stop me. I'm just gonna go. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going and see what happens. Like more. It, more to have the to have the uh the attitude that no i'm gonna no i'm gonna keep going so like right now i'm gonna add some black oh black drama and hi Adi margie again simply lorenzo lorenzo's first ah <laughs> we're still being here anyway <laughs> parang lasing <laughs> There you go. So you're adding black on just, you know, any part. And then some of it might even kind of be ugly. And I'm like, uh, sometimes, and then that's when I say, this is not about a pretty painting. It's not about a pretty painting that I think I'm going to be hanging up or something. This is about mm -hmm. um, express, ex intuitively expressing yourself. And actually, w when that black dries, I would like to add some white writing on top of it. Mm. But sense. now, I now I think I might go in. I'm gonna go in with some collage now. So you guys have a lot of ephemera items, right? Ephemera. Yes, if, yes. If, if not, if you don't have ephemera items, you can um, use magazines for uh, cutting and tearing out images from a magazine. But I, I have ephemera. I actually have ephemera writings. I mean, I have to get at my, my, my ephemera items now. Okay, there are some of us like Miss Wims. Um, she creates her own ephemera. So she draws nice. colors, cuts them out. Right, Because she actually just started crafting uh, with us oh, because she is really an artist. So she doesn't have all this, you know, materials and stuff. But what she can do is she, she draws things that she doesn't have. Or she paints them and then... Oh, and then she uses them as a camera. I like, yeah. Yes. Sometimes I like using some of my um, older pa older paintings that I might use in collage. Exactly. Hi, Lola Levy. Mega love shout out po. 
So now while this acrylic painting is still wet, I do not need glue because acrylic will act as glue. I can actually just stick that image right on there and that acts as glue. Nice. I have all these. Uh, well, here's some of them. I have it. It's the Tim Holtz paper dolls. They call them paper yes. dolls. Yes. Some of us have that. And it's like one of us commented, creepy. <laughs> Because sometimes the eyes are like looking at you, right? Oh. But uh, a lot of us actually like using, you know, we love Tim Holtz. Yeah, I got products. these. I got these many years ago when I first started art journaling. Yeah, really nice. I really like. I really like them. But I'm gonna see what other ones I have. I have some other of that. Again, for this kind of, um, you know, uh, art experience you're doing right now there's no rhyme or reason you don't like okay there should be two here this one should be bigger smaller none like that for this one right i might like i can i might just say okay oh that's two there i'm gonna add because i do know about the things about threes working in threes the creative yes. principle about working in threes i do know about yes. that i do know about like oh like you know this color is gonna look over, because i have years and years of like learning all all this and my knowledge the, the mm -hmm. my thing is that i don't overthink it because this is what happens to me i'm like wait should i put this here oh no i don't know wait a minute would that look good there oh would this look better over mm, yes, here yes. and that overthinking that overthinking just like kills the creative process so mm -hmm. i try not to do that I, so in this i try to be more free and i maybe maybe yes. i can think a little bit but i just try not to overthink it okay so there you go so if you do know the basics of what could be artistically pleasing like you know color mm -hmm. theory if you have a background on that of course still do it that's what diane is saying yeah, right. as long like, as you don't feel like you're overthinking it and torturing yourself. So sometimes mm -hmm. I get into this self-doubt, like, but I don't, oh, now I don't know. I don't know what I should do. And that, and then I get into this. I don't know what I should do next. And then it's like, then I just, I don't go there. I just try, I don't go there. I just like make mm -hmm. simple, quick decisions, like, and don't, don't overthink it. Okay. All right, Miss Wims is saying, Mommy Lala, I might not be able to finish what I am doing right now. I'm doing a visual study of what I am supposed to paint. That's very fine, Miss Wims. Just take a photo of whatever you have at this point, and that would be your submission for tonight. That, no okay, worries. So it doesn't have to be a finished uh, one tonight, guys. It doesn't matter. So Just I what really... you're, what's going on, Miss. I yes, do Diana? not like... Oh uh, yeah, I do not like fussy cutting. So here, this would require fuss. I do have special fussy cutting scissors, but actually I don't have them with me there in my art studio. So anyway, even if I do have scissors, I rarely use my scissors. I, I tear stuff out. Wow, that's nice. I tear stuff out and it actually, it gives it a more organic feeling, but I tear stuff, I tear my images out it, instead of cutting them because I actually, Part because partly because of my vision, it's very it's very strained and strenuous for me to try to fussy cut stuff. That yes. instead I tear things out oh, when I can. It, and as you say, it's a more, looks more organic, right? So what what is this one? This is our like uh, vintage printouts from books, or it's uh, ephemera. Oh, so these were some of my these were some of um Tim Holtz paper dolls that I liked the best that I wanted to like, Oh no, I don't want to use them up once and never have them again. So I photocopied mm. some of my favorite. So some, some of my oh, favorite that's nice. Tim Holtz ones, like the little, the little <laughs> girl, ballerina girls. There, Miss Wims is also saying, yes, rip paper, very raw, nice character. Yes. This is such a great learning experience for somebody like me who is really not an artist that uh, it's okay to relax to see to see things done this way because i have this wrong notion that everything needs to be like look perfect look a certain way right so this is really yeah nice. but what is a certain way if you look at the art world what is perfect what's a certain mm. way when you look at the art world and see all the different kinds of art that's done like especially me who's like trying to you know be a professional artist i'm like but 
look, that's been done before, and this has been done before, and I, and then, so then you have to go with, well, what do you love doing? What do you, what do you love doing? Because um, eventually, look for what you love doing, and you can get that unique kind of, you know, output or work. That is exactly you, right? Not maybe Tim Holtz, not whoever artist that you, you know, like. Yes, I get in, I pick a few, uh, like, like in the series that I'm working on now, I have about three, three art, three or four artists that I'm influenced by. And I kind of refer to them when I'm working, but I don't, I don't make my art. I don't make my art like exactly like theirs, but I, I, I maybe borrow things like. If that's the word borrow things from them like mm -hmm. I get influenced by them and and oh, okay I'm using acrylic I'm ac using acrylic paint right now as glue Instead of glue, right? Use yeah. acrylic paint. Acrylic paint will act as a glue, yes. That's a cool technique. Thank you. So now I kind of see what I have just did without thinking about it. I see, I see what... I had made the the, the um, background in colors with with actually with some accents of black, and then I just noticed the colors, the ephemera that I just pulled, is all in blacks and whites and grays. Which blacks and whites and grays kind of is a is a nice contrast to color. And I'm gonna add pink on top of it. I'm gonna add pink pink accents too. So this is a sticker. These are stickers that are really hard to unpack, undo the back. So I, I just might, I, a lot of times I just stick these on too. And so I call this creative play. This is creative play. Like where I say, oh, this butterfly would look cute, like right next to her. So, yeah, so a lot of, yeah, a lot of what I call this process, I would have to say is creative play. And I use a little finger painting too. Okay. What's your thought on this one, Diana, about putting gesso as a primer on, you know, art journals? Is it uh, something that you uh, do all the time? No, gesso gesso is important to on if I'm using mixed media, this is mixed media paper in my art journal. Mm -hmm. If I use mixed media paper, or or a watercolor or a journal that's made out of watercolor paper. I don't feel the necess I don't feel the necessity for gesso. But mm -hmm. if you were using drawing paper, like a sketch pad that had drawing paper in it, mm -hmm. then definitely you need to gesso that before you do anything. All right. Thank if you. If you're going to be using if you're going to be using any kind of wet medium especially like paints or mark I mean you're going to that will just make your paper stronger. If so, if you if you only had a sketchbook that just had drawing paper in it, then yes, you definitely need to gesso that. But I don't I don't feel the need unless somebody had to know something that I didn't know. I mean, I did I don't feel the need to gesso 
to gesso, mixed media, or watercolor paper in a journal. All right. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. I was talking and talking. I forgot that uh, my muted myself. Okay. Wow. Because uh. guys, so mubu ako nagugutom na ako. <laughs> Kaya sinalak saglit yung mic. <laughs> there you go. And Wims has a question, Diana. Who are the uh. artists that influence you the most? Artists or artists that influence you? Okay, they change all the share. time. They change all the time, but for my current my current body of work for my current body of work it's mm -hmm. um the series of that i'm going to be working on for the next for the next several months for my solo show the, my current body of work so far has been um so kathy jones which she you may not know her but she's uh she's actually i think she's world famous but she's very well she's well well known in the art world of in the United States as well. She, if you look her up, Kathy Jones Art, you'll find her. Because if you just look up Kathy Jones, it's such a common name. If you looked up Kathy Jones, you may not find her. But if you put Kathy Jones Art, you will find mm -hmm. her. I love her figurative abstracts. And I, uh, her figurative abstracts. And then um, Shiloh Sophia, which she, her paintings are all about uh, a lot of female, female archetypes. And yeah, I, also, I heard you mentioned her in your some of your yeah. videos in the past, and you actually yeah. took a class from her. Right? Oh yes, I or... took a month long class with her called Legend, and mm. I learned her. She taught us like a, a lot about her creative process that involves a lot of rituals and writing and visioning, and so I created my inner inner healer archetype on thirty by forty inches, and um and her her artwork is a lot about female empowerment and it's but it's also a lot of it's also kind of mystical but it's a lot about female empowerment and and then the other one is katrina coltes uh, she's she's right she's right on facebook facebook and instagram she's um katrina cortez cortez Cortez? Yeah, C O C O L T E S C O L T E S Katrina Cortez, Cortez C O L T E S, and I I really like um her her artwork is also very mystical and dreamlike and figured I her portraits and figures I just I love how she paints her for, her portraits and figures. So there, thank you so much for sharing your mm -hmm. um artist uh, influence oh, again um, these are actually people that uh, you actually know right but oh he, but here's an artist here's an artist that um i, I actually i'm I, I, i'm inspired by him but his work doesn't actually influence me but i'm highly inspired by him mm -hmm. and i his name he is more blind than me i think he's i think he's practically almost totally blind and oh, wow. you would never know it by the paintings he paints he, he's on facebook he's on youtube but he doesn't he doesn't have a very active youtube channel but he he's on facebook and he has his own website and he travels he's the only blind he's the world's blind he's the only world's blind muralist for one thing and oh, wow. it's, it's unbelievable what he does. He's painting commissions all the time. People are always hiring him to paint paintings. And you would never know by looking at his paintings that he is blind and he paints by touch. He actually mixes his paints to have different textures. So if he wants to know what color yellow is, he, he paints that with a certain texture. And then he paints like a, a, the other colors with a certain, he's basically oh. painting by touch to yeah, see- Yeah, like and braille I in color yeah but I, yes it's something like that and I, and uh -huh. actually when he he actually sees his finished painting in his mind's eye and i'm like i kind of really don't totally get that like how did like i like his his wife is sighted so i i always wonder and i never because he i actually interviewed it th three times on my live stream on my channel i've interviewed him three mm -hmm. times and i actually asked him i never asked him this question but i it made i, I wonder if he ever asked his wife like now does this painting look the way i think it does but i didn't i i've never really asked him that but it, but any reason maybe the next time you have him as a guest he can i know i gotta ask him that or i yeah. could even ask him that oh every tuesday night on facebook he's um has a chat i no, actually i could always ask him that 
Because every every Tuesday night. Oh, what's his name again? Sorry, I think you haven't mentioned his name yet. Yeah, John John Bramblett. B B R A M B L I T T. Oh gosh, Jam Bram Bram. John G G O H N John John, and then Bramblett. B A R B R A M as in Mary B L I T T, and he's. He's not, okay. and he's he's worked with many museum, many na major museums around the world, like even um, Metropolitan Museum of Art. He's worked with them to teach them how to make their art programs more accessible, more accessible for the. Oh yes, for accessibility is, uh, you know, everybody has to have. I think, or that's a great um, thing that everybody's doing right now, right? In mm -hmm. everything, even including the artworks. Uh, you know has to be accessibility is uh something that needs to be considered yeah and he goes around to all these major museums in the world and and that's one of the things he he used to, i don't know if he does it much anymore but he used to do that like training people on how to make their 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 museum art programs more accessible mm, that's great so he inspires me he's made he's a major person that inspires me he's, he's awesome Oh, and then uh, thanks for sharing that, really, Diana. And then uh, Miss mm -hmm. Wims is saying, "Wow, it's good to hear that a lot of women are getting known in the world of art." There you go. Yes. Well. Yeah. So, will your yeah. solo uh, exhibit be both? Uh, a uh, physical one and a virtual one. Oh, uh, you know what? In the past, they, you know, in the past they have. Uh, I know one of their shows, one of their shows was virtual, and but during the 2020, see, during then, I don't know if they only did that because of the pandemic, but I, I have to ask the director. I don't know. I got a question now. I got to ask the director because I would love to have it be virtual. And if they needed my help, like in any kind of tech way that I could do it, I, I would love to help them do that. Because um, I don't know if that's just something they did in twenty in twenty twenty to do that, make that happen. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to do that. So now I just added pops of pink. It's nice. Thank you. From afar, it actually looks like butterflies. Well, some of them, are, yeah, some of the stickers are butterflies. I use some stickers. No, I meant the pink. If you're like looking from afar, they look like butterflies. Oh, that's cool. What one thing I always say is that one thing that I always say is the viewer is always right. <laughs> the viewer is always right because yeah, because the, the artist can like the artist has this idea of what they created, right? But mm -hmm. w the artist's job is not to tell you this is what you're supposed to see. You're supposed to see that. You you have to see this. Do you see? Like that's not the artist's job to tell people what they're supposed to see. They could say, well, this is what I was thinking when I was creating it. But the viewer, whatever you see, whatever your interpretation is, that's perfectly fine. Whatever yeah, you see, because so like what you when you were when you putting see, down the pink. Uh, Paint. So it's like, oh, they look like butterflies. Because yeah. whatever you see is different than maybe what somebody else sees in my work. And whatever you see and whatever you see, and what, you might all see something different in my work. And guess what? You're all right. The viewer's always right. That's nice. <laughs> right? So it's like, oh, okay, she's putting butterflies. If you, I wasn't thinking butterflies, but if you say they're butterflies, that's fine. <laughs> So there, hopefully it also has the virtual component. Here in the Philippines, um, they still do that. So there are actual physical galleries that have opened up already. But yeah. on top of that, they also still do a virtual one alongside it. I know. I hope that I, I, I can't wait because I, I, I hope this one is 
the one that I do. I gotta, I gotta check for her. I gotta check with the director and see what happens. Exactly. What and guys, said. if you wanna see some of the paintings or work of Diana that she's preparing for mm -hmm. that uh, exhibit, okay, you can actually she she does uh, vlogs mm -hmm. about you know her doing. You know the behind the scenes. It's, yes. It's really oh, and I have that in a playlist too. Right, all on my home page. All these playlists are on my home page. So easy enough for you to find right on the cover front page. Mm -mm. So there's a playlist because she has tons of videos already from her seven years of actually being a content. Yeah, nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yes, nine hundred. Just nine hundred, guys. We're not even like a ninth of uh, what she probably has done. So uh, definitely there's a playlist. You can look um, up her playlist and binge watch her videos if if you want to. Oh, Maybe yes. you're just Please feeling uninspired them. sometimes or you just want to see, you know, uh, one artist that now you actually know because you met her here, right? In the show. Mm -hmm. You've actually interacted with her through the chat, right? And it, she does also live streams. So oh, if you're able to um, get a notification and you're awake, go ahead and say hi and uh, you know engage with her and her guests in the chat. Oh, but my but their but their time is uh, so if I do live streams two o'clock on Sunday, that's gonna be in the three. That's gonna be three o'clock. That's gonna be Our three o'clock. Don't worry, there are you'd be surprised. There we are like. 24 7 community or you can watch the replays you can always yes play. definitely the replay and comment on the replay that's also fine and yeah please don't forget to put a mm -hmm. like because that helps us you know creators that and will share it too. please yes, comment and share comment, comment thumbs up and and, and share, share. yes that will help the, the algorithm for that channel be noticed by youtube and then youtube will push it further you know that's uh that's what what that's what i've been trying to also do here in our community diana and really trying to help each other we're trying to help each other out by supporting yeah. each other's uh um, content and uh, yes. whatever projects or products especially now that you know it's almost the holidays so this is mm -hmm. one time of the year where um, artists, makers, creators like us get to really, um, you know, have our work. Uh, if it's a business side of it, you know, um, really uh, sell a lot of our works or get commissioned works, right? So during this time of the year. Right. And Super Floop is saying that spreads looking great, Diana. Thank you, Anna. And I added now, next step is embellishing. So, embellishing okay. you could add glitter you could add glitter or sequins or doodling mm, okay so again this is a mixed media uh, project that um, diana is showing us okay again this is just one of it you can do this activity to distress using whatever it is that you have or you want to do Okay, maybe I think I would want to do this because, you know, mixed media is something that stresses me a bit <laughs> when I do it. So, but doing it this way, actually, Diana said, is pretty relaxing. Yes. So, you get stressed out because you want, you think it needs to look a certain way? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh <sighs> I think part of it is because I'm a perfectionist, so I just have to let go of that. And this is a perfect opportunity and activity to actually let go of that because this is in no way, okay, form or shape, you know, regimented or it's like, it has to be straight, it has to be this color, it has to go this way, that way, right? No, it's more about you following what you feel what you feel like how you want to do it instead of following any rules exactly so that's why this is super nice and a perfect opportunity to distress actually i don't know if you noticed diana 
So I've had the thumbnail up for several days now. And during the countdown, Wim said, Pislala, do you know that your title says, Easy Ways to Distress with Stress? <laughs> I said, really? And then I checked. Indeed, it says, Easy Ways to Distress with Stress. She said, how am I going to do that? <laughs> That's so I just funny. actually changed it right now prior to the stream. So again, Miss Wims, thank you for being so, uh, what do you call this, um, observant that you actually realize there's something wrong with that title. I think I did it because I was like, I think maybe almost sleepy. That's why. Hmm. But you get up very early in the morning. Like, you get up at 3 in the morning. I think this is what you call jet lag, <laughs> Diane. Because, uh -huh. um, you know, at 1 in the morning here, it's 1 p.m. So, I should be awake. <laughs> so, but it's still better than when I'm in the West Coast. The West Coast is harder. I really have a very bad uh, jet lag when I'm there. But here, it's, it's, it's better. Oh, but I thought this was further. I thought this was further away from. Yes, but when it comes to the time, because here in the East Coast it's like prior to you guys moving back. The time <laughs> now it's thirteen hours apart. Before it was just twelve hours, so it's like twelve p.m., twelve a.m. Right? So it's it's easy, mm -hmm. but with uh, West Coast it's sixteen hours. So it's like really oh, during the like mid afternoon. It's like three in the morning for us. So it's like really, really sleepy during the afternoon, right? And then by the time I get back home, I have to do that again. <laughs> so we wake up at one in the morning, two in the morning, and by five p.m. we're very, very sleepy. <laughs> so, but now no, here it's okay. Me. Not that bad. Okay, look at that. So you're even using your fingers. Oh yes, yes, finger painting too. Mm -mm. So whatever fact, inhibitions have, I, you have, I do have a five video, five video um series. I didn't know, I didn't know when it, if you were going to mention it about. And um, each video show each video showing a different kind of um, art activity for de-stressing with art. One is called Meditative yes. Watercolor Circles. I don't know. Were you going to put that in the C CTA? Or yes, it's actually it in the description already. So, guys, okay. I, I already posted it there. So, there okay. are actually two suggested uh, videos that are similar to what we're doing right now. So, if you mm -hmm. want to also see the process of how she did that, okay, it's in the description. It's clickable, so you can click on that one. Also, on mm -hmm. the link are all um, of Diana's social media handles and her website, of course. And the classes that are the workshops that she has. So, everything is right down in the description. So, if you know you're enjoying watching diana do all of these things you can head on to the description and start clicking and saving or bookmarking all of those links right so again thank you to those mm -hmm. who have started following and subscribing to diana if you have further questions kiki is to message her on her website she does have a website everything is there Okay, so if there's one thing that you should probably keep, that would be, you know, the link to her website because everything can be found there and, yes. of course, her YouTube channel. Oh, yes, but on, your, on my website, I don't think it's possible to ask, ask me a question. You have to join You have to join my email list to ask Okay, so ask there, that's questions. how. So they need to, so from the website, join their email list so that whenever she has something new, okay, in terms of classes, and hopefully we can have, um, Diana do a class for us like oh, specifically yeah, just to. for the community via a zoom class so we'll see mm. I'm, I'm gonna think of a class that we could probably do okay for our community I'll just have to you know yes. let's talk about that and see how okay we can come up with a class right so you guys like that let's have a class of course that 
on YouTube. It's gonna be a, a private class with her, so it's gonna be via Zoom that I will absolutely host. Okay, uh, and go. that that would be a paid class. Yes, absolutely. Uh huh. Yes, because there are actually several clubs here. So we have mine. It's called Joyful Crafters Club, and then there is one also, um, Marie Vicente, uh, Craftist Marie on YouTube. It's a craft create and swap club. So they do awesome swappings every month. They also do have invite other artists to actually um, come in for their creative play every Fridays. So there, so many opportunities actually for for private classes for our community in the. Field. So I am using some Mod Podge for uh for extra for extra gluing of the um glitter. Mm, okay. Oh, so you I I didn't see the, you were already adding the glitter. Okay. Ah, there now just now. Okay, is there a technique, Diana, about glitter? The reason I sometimes um, find it difficult to add glitter, like that mm -hmm. kind of glitter, unless it's yeah. in a pen or in a marker, is because um, eventually it falls off. I, some of it does. That, yeah, that's the nature. That's why I prefer glitter paint or glitter mm -hmm. markers. Mm -hmm. I, I don't find that. I don't find I don't think the glitter falls off when you use glitter paint or glitter markers, but when you're mm -hmm. using this loose kind of glitter, it mm -hmm. is pretty much that you could you could use a lot of glue and put glitter on there. And I found out over my years of teaching is that glitter is still gonna come off a little bit. Not all okay. of it. I mean you'll still see it on your picture, but somehow it always just all oh, it's just like it always yes. will still come off. But not that's why I like glitter paint. Like I do have yes. oh I don't have it with me. I have it um somewhere else. But then you know, sometimes like I like the feel, you know, the texture that an actual glitter, yeah. you know, that kind um has. So like I am a very kinesthetic learner as well as a kinesthetic crafter. So I love texture. I love that in my work there are, I have mm -hmm. different layers, not just uh, layers, yeah. but different yeah, texture as well. It's just that I don't like the fact that, you know, after a while, you'd see it on my hands, you'd see it on my face, you'd see it on the table, on the chair. You'd see it everywhere. Well, those but two I just like go them. hand in hand, unless you're going to wear cl gl craft gloves. What about mm. using craft gloves? That would... And then there's another thing called invisible glove lotion that it's, um, it, it wow. so it's, it's, yeah, so it's a special lotion, a cream that comes in a tube and you just, before you start working, you just put it, put this on, it's called invisible glove. And then, and then whatever you get on your hands, it'll be very easy to wash off. Oh, wow. Invisible. Okay, wow. guys, where is that? <laughs> Is, well, is that available only in artists stores or is it in like craft no, stores it's, like it's michael's available on amazon amazon uh, amazon all right there you go invisible glove okay um km has a question have you tried putting mod podge on top of glitters to secure them yes that's what i just did so i i did the so um I, I don't I don't use the loose glitter that often so now I just did that as an experiment that I use the Mod Podge to stick it on and now uh, after it just dried a little bit then I add Mod Podge on top and I'm, I'm gonna see it I think that might hold it better then there it then there is glitter Mod Podge like if you just kind of want a, a like a, a sheen a sheen on your project like that would that would be out of white glitter because it, it would it would sparkle like so if i just want like a, like here i want to sheen on her after this dries the the, the glitter mod podge is going to sparkle nice So the answer, KM, is yes. Okay. So she has uh, actually does that. So that's a way 
I guess from both artists in the house, so from Diana and KM, is a way to actually prevent those pesky glitter <laughs> from actually getting off your work. I even have those glitter paper, you know, scrapbook papers. <gasps> They're yeah. so pretty and so nice, but then you'd see the glitters fall off. Even on them? Yes, there are some, the very, very fine ones, they're fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, I had to cough. <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, um, that um, the very, very fine ones, you can even like do a die cut <clears throat> of and that's fine. But there are those... Uh, the thicker ones, with the bigger, um, uh, um, what do you call this? Glitter. Yeah, those are the ones that normally fall off. No, I find that even the most fine, fine glitter falls off. But not totally where, like, it still is on your picture. It's just like all this, somehow the excess some kind always falls off. <clears throat> Yes, I've seen you actually go over that butterfly, those, that butterfly specifically near the girl, many times over. So that's fine, right? You can, that's another thing that I actually, you know, I'm inspired to actually not, you know, it's not done. You can still go, go, uh, go do something about it. Yes. Like if you added too much color, you can dampen it. And then remove some of that color, change color, add some more color. Yeah, it's so possible, it's... yeah. So there. So I hear you doing some kind of rubbing of some sort. Yeah. Of <laughs> um, I was hoping my marker would work. And I, I, say, oh. I think I do have more white markers downstairs, but... Not yeah, so that's that. the hard thing, right? Even for us, sometimes, Diana, it's like when we have several workspaces, right? So it's like the material is in the other <laughs> craft area, and then you have to go start your live stream. So it Yes, I have what's called an art bag. Uh, I ha Well, I have two things. I have a, mar a big marker case, and then that's downstairs. But I have an art bag in case. How many of you ever do arts and crafts sitting on a couch? couch without the table yeah. yeah without the table like so you just have your oh, have. your uh, your sketch pad or your art journal and you want to do and you want to do art sitting on your couch well i have this thing i, I have an art bag then the art bag is to is like totable anywhere to take anywhere like wow. if you're on do you a have trip, a video of that like what's in my i art should make bag. that i need to make a video about this yeah right so you you, you title what is in my art bag right that's nice or, or somehow yes or how you can how you can do art anywhere with your portable yes. art bag that's nice and then show them what's in my art bag and it's a bag that i i can take when i travel or when i want to sit on the couch or and mm -hmm. i want to do art that then the art's ready some not all are but some the art um all kinds of art supplies are ready to go to work in an art journal mm-hmm all right. So is this basically done? Yeah. I, All right. I, I wanted to. So you don't need to put like a title or something. My white Nothing. marker isn't working. I mean, if, unless I go downstairs, mm. but I wanted to add a little bit more writing right here. But mm -hmm. uh, another right. so step. So they would actually, understand. Yes. The final step would be adding more writing or stencil words or cut out words and like kind of mm. add words like that that are like a sentiment for their art journal page. Okay, so that's the final step. Yeah, kind of add, okay. yes, adding words. Yay, thank you, Diana. Maybe you, we, you, if you can show us again for the last time before we, we go ahead back and uh, interview a, a little bit further. Um, the, what do you call this? The, some of the works that you actually did this past couple of days? that you showed to us in the beginning uh, you mean flip through a little bit yes a little bit so here there one. you go 
So here I, is... I, wrote, I wrote really big right here, like mm -hmm. um, cathartic stream of thought writing. And then, and then I have, I have a whole book of collage papers where co collage, it's a collage book where everything is made, especially made to be cut out for collage. And so I chose mm -hmm. this picture like that, Elizabeth Taylor. I did this one kind of, I may not be finished this one, but this oh, one. Oh, that's nice. And I just like was working and I'm like, oh, I just want to put cats in it. And I ripped out like these, this whole row of cats and. Again, hand, uh, hand, uh, what do you call this? Hand cut paper. Oh, hand ripped. Rather. Hand ripped. Yeah, I ripped. Hand that, ripped. That, there you go. Yeah, hand ripped. Because that yeah, was the edge ripped. of the paper, which is already straight. Hand ripped. Mm -hmm. And I like the play of colors there. Wow, this is my favorite so far. Is that Are those like painted? Me? The the leaves or the flowers? The, the ones in black? The stencil. I love stencils. Oh, stencils. Okay. I have a huge stencil collection. Yeah, we love so, stencils like as neutral? well. <laughs> do you like neutral colors? Is that why you like this? Because it's new neutral colors? Oh, not that's that. It's a play of colors, actually. So I love the, you know, the pop mm -hmm. of color every now and there. I, I really nice. love, you know, how even the composition is so nice, right? Mm -hmm. So a play of whimsy every now and then with, you know, nature. It's, it's really pretty, Diana. I really love it. Thank you. Yes, and everybody's saying in the chat, oh, nice, beautiful spread. Nice, Diana. I like the splash of yellow. Okay, this is something, um, I think this is similar to, yeah, you you created like really large paintings of women. I remember when we were in Lida, right? Yeah, and yeah, this and this face is, is not one of my better faces, but I, it, it's, it's okay for my art journal. Mm-hmm. Very nice, and guys. Collage. There's collage, stenciling. This is collage, collage, stenciling, drawing, painting. Wow. Painting, collage, and writing. Beautiful, Diana. And I also love the paint. Oh, here's color. more. Like, that's, that's really like using a lot of stencils. Mm hmm. <clears throat> And then just monochromatic colors, right? This one is Here. nice as well. Well, right? pa, I, I I left like I did this back. I did this in two steps, like in, in two separate occasions. So I I just made this. Actually, I use this as scrap paint. So when I'm working on a big painting and I have leftover paint, I just paint. Uh -huh. I just paint scrap. I just paint whatever, and I don't even think about it. Like brush strokes on my, and eventually it builds up. And here it was like that's how a lot of these started was just their their scrap paint for my big paintings and i just and i don't want to waste it so i, I paint it as to be used later as background it's used and, as a background nice so it's like jelly printing right so your accesses eventually can be turned into a background, background. nice so it, i might leave it as it is i might go back into this it like the bl the black and the gray was the background and then i added these pops of color and some writing and i'm i'm I may go back to this. It may be just the way it finished or like the way it is, or I may go back into this. Mm -hmm. This one I did for it with my friend with healing through chakra and art balancing and the chakra was heart. And I had already done the background like in my art yes. studio. And then, and then I just added the, added this idea of um, heart hearts, like message of hearts that you can come back to, like when you need a boost of, um, when you need oh, a boost. Oh, nice. Like words of affirmation. Yeah. Right? I am grateful for... What this? For not... Oh, I am grateful for not being totally blind. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. And we're grateful. That I will... And I my my particular retinal disease will not will never lead to total blindness. So I'm so grateful for that. Oh, great. Oh, so we'll always look at the brighter side of things, right? That's so yeah, nice. uh, anytime you need like a little boost, you could go into yeah. your... Um, and this is part of your art journal, right? So it's Yeah, I, but nice. I normally I wouldn't do some. I mean, I, I did this because in, in conjunction with the, uh, a collaboration I was doing with my friend called 
healing through art and chakra balancing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the link to that one in the description also down below. So that's more of a background. Like that's here, like I'm using scrap paint. Mm -hmm. So I, I might add something to that. I kind of like, I like the energy of the brushwork and stuff and the colors. Mm -hmm. I may or may not come back to that one. That one, you can see the writing is showing through. Yeah, I actually think I would want to make something like that. I will try that. Oh. Finally, my ugly, my for me, I have a very ugly handwriting, so it cannot be read. So that's perfect for a disability. Oh, it doesn't matter if you have ugly. <sighs> yes. Oh, this is so nice. It's a, it's a woman, right? Yeah, this was actually done with a stencil. I have a face stencil. Really? That's I don't a stencil? Know. Wow. Yeah, it's a stencil from uh, from Jane Davenport. She has a lot oh, of... Oh, yeah, yeah, Jane. She has she some fun space stencils. Women just say, I cannot focus anymore in what I'm doing. Uh, I want to see her works. <laughs> yes, Wims, we all do. And in her channel, That's she familiar. actually shows some of uh, the... You know the big paintings or other paintings that she has finished and done. Oh, and I have a, I have nice a live page. stream in where I did this one. I have a live nice. stream on somehow I did many of these different art art journal pages. They're they're actually live streams. Mm -hmm, nice. There you go. So if you want to see how these things were done, again check out her channel. If you have oh here I am practicing eyes, nose, and mouths. Oh, that's so hard to do. You know faces. Ugh. nice actually in, in 2020 i did a 360 i i for myself i challenged myself to do a 365 day challenge on drawing and i especially like drawing female faces drawing and paint drawing did you finish animals. that 365 days they have yes for, mo for the most wow. part yes and and the date but the thing is i i had leeway that i have all these different size journals all the way from a journal this small to a journal like this big so on some days where if i really didn't feel like doing it i would just draw a, quickly a face in a little journal like that oh that's nice so that like even if it was five minutes long at least i still fulfilled i fulfilled the the challenge exactly. for the day correct correct Super nice. Oh, I love this. this I love is, the colors. Uh, myself, myself empowering. So this one is self, part of self-care art journaling where here it was um, a highlight, some highlights for the week right here that I could even go back to if I wanted to. I was, and what if, and then I did a what if thing. Like, you know, most time people go, oh, what if this bad thing happens? And what if this happens? And what if this bad, you know how like they do what if is bad? So here mm -hmm. I did, what if all the good things? Like, what if such and such good thing happens? And what if this, oh, that's what, if nice. this or what if this wonderful happen thing happens? Or what if this, what if this really goes smoothly? And what if that like, all what if with a positive so turning twist? What if with a positive twist? Yes. Cool. That's nice. I think I love that. I, let's make yeah. something out of that. And then highlights of, oh, that one's highlights of my week. And this one was. Yeah, the accelerator. I think up. that's and then so, And then here I created a self-powered image. So she's Wonder Woman. So th it's a self-powering image. A the kind of like seeing, Wonder Woman. Like seeing myself as Wonder Woman. That's a self-powering nice. image to help me boost me with my self-esteem. Okay. Um, I think it's okay, going to take us forever if you want to go through all of Diana's um, art journal. So I think that would be enough for today. Diana, can we see your, yes. your back to face cam again? Yeah. Okay, again. Back so while oh, my Diana face cam. Is, Yes. So while okay. okay. So while Diana is going to just uh, fix her camera back again, facing to herself, focus on herself. Again, guys, please submit your um, works. Although it may not be finished, whatever it is that you have done while you know watching Diana, you were working alongside her. That would be fine because actually um, we cannot stay long for the day because today is the last day for my hop on hop off. Bus tour. So 
I have to be there, <laughs> otherwise the bus will will leave me. Okay, in the certain pickup um, area. So, um, we I would probably not be able to like wait for everybody to be able to finish their work tonight. So whatever you have right now, take a photo, even if it's just you just sold something, and send it over onto Discord so we can show it again guys the winner will receive or will get a free class okay via mommy guide inc uh and onto one of uh diana's digital classes okay and here guys okay is okay diana hi okay first i want to show okay this is diana actually has an etsy shop okay this is serenity art by diana okay so some of our works are actually or can be bought uh, in the Etsy shop. So if you have a friend or somebody looking for a possible gift, okay, uh, or, that's or, or art. Commission. I do, or commission I do, work. You can actually, do, uh, yes. Yeah. So there. If you have a special commission idea, but I also, there's this one special commission I do where in case you mm -hmm. like with the alcohol ink background and then somebody's name written on it. Ooh, that's that's cool, right? So she has an Etsy, okay, Etsy shop. It's Serenity Art by Diana. And of course, okay, so you if you need more inspiration, okay, enjoy. Okay, so you just have to join her email list. This is on her website. And you can also find other stuff through here. Of course, uh, her YouTube channel and other social media handles are actually in the chat down below in the description. So again, Diana, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. Waking up so early and being so patient with us by answering mm -hmm. our questions and um, telling us step by step how you can actually use mm -hmm. art to make it as an avenue or an activity to actually be stress-free or to distress. Maybe just last minute, you know, uh, words for everybody in the chat right now. That... Uh, Dad, I just want to go over my mottos again that uh, uh, you don't need to see 2020 to have artistic vision and um, we are all creative beings created to create. All right. So those are very, very nice words for us to ponder and to remember as we go through this, you know, passion and journey that we are in right now again don't worry this might not be the last it's my this is the first but not the last that we are gonna be seeing mm -hmm. of diana again of serenity studio art okay and mm -hmm. um diane says thanks diana i really enjoyed seeing your work all right again diana thank, thank you. you so so much again thank don't you, forget man. to like subscribe and follow and mm -hmm. share all her videos on her channel and just you know message her or email her for commissioned work, if ever. So this is the time we say bye-bye to you, uh, Diana. Bye. Bye, bye. bye everybody. Bye, All right, bye, thank bye. you. Okay, thank everyone you. saying bye. hi and goodbye to Diana. All right, so now bye. it's the time where I ask you guys, thank you again, Diana, for you guys to submit all your works on the Discord. Okay, and we will now do a uh, Wheel of Names. Okay, again, everybody in the chat right now and yesterday are going to be included in the raffle for 50 peso GC, okay, to be raffled off in uh, Norman's diary. Thank you so much, Sir Norman, for taking care of this. Oh, nakisuyo na ako, Sir Norman. And then, of course, the winner for tonight for Team Bahai will actually receive, but not a 2D media class, but a digital, okay, um, what do you call this? Uh, digital animation class by uh, using procreate with diana there you go and diane has to go and diana also <laughs> okay hold on where's my mouse again oh my goodness i'm losing my mouse oh it's going to my other computer okay so i have to close this one okay so my laptop okay there. Diana also take care we have two D's yes Diana and Diane two equally beautiful and talented artists see you soon make and do crafts and so while we're waiting for you guys to submit all your works let's bring in my dear crafty sister Tina Pasok where are you not Tina pakita na natin yung mga na gesso mong gamit si Stins you can bring in two cameras okay 
<coughs> Lola Levy, maraming maraming salamat po for staying. Again, guys, thank you so much. Okay, this is not the end because we have to raffle off our, okay, Team Bahay winners and also waiting for my dear crafty sister, Tina. Okay, who is also, thank you for dropping by, also for checking in on the kids. Ayan. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so let's do, 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 do. What's that? Uh, Discord. Okay, no, not there. We gotta go to Discord. Discord. Okay. See, the thing here is this monitor is so huge. It's like I don't know where to. Okay, there you go. Discord. Let's check if the, somebody other than Miss Wimps and Tin submitted something. Hopefully, you did. Okay. And so our next stream would be on next Wednesday. Okay, and that's with Design Plus. Alright. So, okay. We weren't able to have one with them last month. Okay, but we'll definitely have one this month. Okay. Not now. Oh, I see Austin. Okay, hold on. Um... Let's bring in Tina first. Okay, this is Tina's too. Okay. Hi, Tin. Okay, do you see Tina? Oh, you're... Ay, wala ka audio. Ay, kasi kala ko dalawang camera kasi sa... <laughs> sa dali. Oo. Ilipat kita sa... Okay, teka. Palitan ko muna ito na... Uh, ano ba to? Nawawala si Tina, no? Guys, sandali lang. Makikita nyo na ulit si Tina in 3, 2, 1. Tchanan! <laughs> Walang audio, sis. Again. Hello, audio. <laughs> o, ako lang ba to? Guys, may audio ba si Tina? Hindi ko lang naririnig. Ayan, ayan, meron na. Hello. Okay, Akala ko hindi na ako papasok. Kasi hey, 10 na eh. Actually, ano, di ba? Kasi sabi niya sa akin nga, ano, iksian lang daw ha, iksian. Tapos siya pala yung mama. <laughs> Kasi sabi niya, gusto niya maiksi lang, pero ang haba nung ginawa niya. <laughs> di ba? Yeah, oh Oo, so, ano nang natapos mo, sis? Sinabit Isang camera lang ipasok mo? Oo, sinabit ko na sa Discord, nandun na. Pero yung ah, overhead na. pa pa? Ha? Yung overhead oh, oh. ko pa? Ginawang Sandali kita ng ano eh. Oh, meron, mayroon kang ano. Oh, oh ayan. Hold on. Okay. Ayan. Pasok natin yung isa ni Tins. So, isa lang. Isa yung... lang yung camera ko. Ah, isa lang. Oh. Okay, Kasi, sige. Ayan. Ito na ba yun? Ayan. Yan. So, dito na lang tayo sa solo guest. Yan. Ay, madilim. Lalong dumilim. <laughs> Yan pa lang. Hindi pa tapos. Wow. Ano ito? Deny cut mo? Naka-print naka cut? Oh. Ano to? Stamp and cut? Stencil. Tapos yung plano ko, yung background nito, yung watercolor ko pa. Again, again, again. Pero... In-stencil mo, tapos kinat mo. Stencil to, tapos stamp, stencil, and die cut. Ah, stamp, and then, stencil, and die cut. Okay. Itong, ano itong, to? Pink fresh? Oo, oh, pink fresh to. Pink fresh. Ephemeris. Ngayon, itong background is just craft paper. That's why I had to use gesso. Gesso. And then this gold acrylic. Marami pa yan dapat na circle. And then yung background niya, according to this, kung saan to nakatapat, Meron tong watercolor. Watercolor. I, I can be blue. I can be yellow. I can be green. Can... Ituloy mo na yan. Gawin mo lang ganun yan. Dagdagan mo pa. <laughs> diba? Kulang eh. Gawin mo na rin pang, pang, ano, pang shorts yan. Ganda nun sis. Ang ganda ng concept mo. Another, yeah. ano yan? Another viral video in the making. I love it. Oh, diba? Ano to? This is dye ink, and then I use uh -oh. acrylic 
then I'm going to use watercolor. Acrylic for the stamping? O hinand mo lang yun, yung circle circles na yun? This is dye ink ng Pink Fresh. This one, yung ephemeras. No, 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 no. The circles. The parang the circle wavy. is acrylic. Acrylic gold. Kaya nga, kinamay mo lang? Oo. Ang taray. Ang acrylic perfect gold. naman. <laughs> ang cute naman, acrylic gold. Anong ginamit mong acrylic gold? Na ano? Uh, actually, it's the one, Ganda. It's the one that I bought from Nanette Store. Um, this oh. is Alchemy Metallic. Ang ganda, guys. So, it's actually, ah, kay Fina Bear. So, ano siya? Acrylic paint siya. Hindi siya wax. Oo. It's, Akala it's ko watercolor. Acrylic siya. Acrylic. Ito lang gold. Ay, Ngayon, gold lang. Ang watercolor ko, which is prima, ito yung sa background na nakagalaman. Uh-huh. Parang kakalat. Uh, Kung baga parang kunwari, imagine parang nag-drip yung flowers. Natanggal yung color niya. Oh, di ba? Ah, di ba? Ganda. Pero gawin mong ano ha? Yung kinakanta natin, alam mo na. <laughs> Pwede na yan eh. Para double, double, di ba? <laughs> double ang magiging content na yan. Kasi meron na oh, may orange, may, uh, may, may pink, may green, may blue. <laughs> White, black, red na lang. <laughs> Oo, tsaka ito, lalagyan ko pa ng gold ito, yung ephemeras ko. Ah, yung in-between, instead of white, go-golden mo siya. Y- yung lines. Lines like lang. Flower, lines ng leaf. Grabe. Bakit ba masyado kang inspired lately? Ang gaganda lahat ng outputs mo ngayon, sabi ko nga. Sobrang inspired si Tina, nakaka-inspired din ang kanyang pagiging inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, si Stitz. O, balik mo na sa face cam mo. Dito tayo sa two-pip natin. Ayan. Balik tayo dito. Babaguhin ko lang yung camera. Magiging guest two. And then, baguhin natin itong Tina One Kenobi. Okay. At puntahan natin ang ating Discord. Okay. So, tignan muna natin. Okay. Kung meron nga bang nag-submit sa Discord. Okay. Let me check. Ah, nakita ko na nga yung ano mo. Okay, meron si Doc Ree, meron si Miss Wims, ikaw si Miss Wims, at saka si Doc Ree. Okay. Ah, yeah, ganti. Hi, Ree! Uh-oh. Oo nga eh, in fairness. So, punta tayo ngayon sa... Okay, dito muna. Oh, may flowers. Okay, lalap- oh, I love it. Teka, idadagdag ko si Tina para hindi naman ako mag-isang video. Is this Magic Pals? Okay, sige, habang nagka, ano, okay, ano na nga ba yung gagawin ko? <laughs> Ruleta. Ruleta, oo, tama. So, dapat ito. Okay. <laughs> Ang hirap nang walang, ano, no, stream deck. Oo, alam mo, kasi pag sinip, pindot na lang ako pindot, diba? <laughs> ito, rat, pinamanual ko, guys, as in. <laughs> Kailangan lahat pinipindot ko manually, kaya parang, uh, hindi ko alam kung nasaan. Kaya maganda yung sinabi ni Victor, na ang gawin ko sa kanya, gawa ako ng panibago, ba? Diba? Para hindi na ako nag... Kasi ang haba na yung mga 200 plus scenes na yun eh. Diba? Panibagong profile? A panibagong parang profile. Oo, tama. Panibagong yeah. profile. Para... Ano per show? Oo, Ay, hindi kasi yung sa akin, ba? meron na. Pero bawat ano, ang dami pa rin. So sabi niya, masyado ng cluttered. Tanggalin mo na yun. <laughs> gawa ka ng bago. Kasi di ba iba-ibang show, dapat iba-iba yung... Meron na nga din ako ganun, sis. Kaya lang, dahil nga ang dami kong mga revisions, ganyan-ganyan, ano na rin, kaya sabi niya, at saka hindi ba pag nag edit ako, yung, yung pagkakasunod, sis, kumbaga hindi na siya, kasi naka-stream deck naman, di ba? So pag yeah. naka-stream deck, mas kisan mo ilagay, ayos lang. Eh kaya lang kapag ganitong mano-mano ka, kailangan yung pagkaayos ng mga scenes, naka-ano rin, yung parang... Pak, pak, pak. Kung ano yung flow ng show mo, ganun na lang. Para sunod-sunod. Hindi mo na siya hanapin. ba? So, ayan. Again, Tina, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Puntahan natin ang team. Bahay. Hindi, iisa lang ang monitor ko, guys. So, hindi ko alam. Tina, sabihan mo na lang ako kung tama yung lumalabas, ha? Sige. Okay. Kasi hindi ko nakiki... Okay, tamo. Pag minove ko, namumove din na sa kabila. <laughs> of course, ang first team bahay natin ay... Ayan, nakikita? Yes. Hindi. Kita ba? Oo, oh, oh. yeah, we can see it. Okay.
Okay, ayan yung Kim is Wims. Oh, bakit naging ganun? Yeah, ano din? Ah, grabe naman. Paano mo namang ginawa yan? Yeah, yeah. no? Paano yeah, tayo na nandito yeah. lang tayo? May drawing, may sketching, may coloring. Grabe. Yeah. Hindi pa nga tapos ano kasi meron pang kukulayan na ibang part. I love leaves talaga. Diba? Ganda. Sino kaya ang model niya dito? Pinoy ito kasi tignan mo, ang ilong ay hindi matangos. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Ang galing. Thank you, Miss Wims. Ayan, maski busy from... Ay, ano nangyari? Kinlos mo yung Discord. Ayan. Oh my gosh. Eng, eng talaga. Ayan na, ayan na. Ayan. Alright. And of course, ito nakita niyo na kanina. Oo, nakalagay doon 50%. Pinakita niya na kanina yan live. And then, ano yung inspiration and ano yung magiging itsura ng finished product. So, abangan natin. Magiging shorts po yan. Okay. And probably, meron longer version. Ayan. Oh, yan na naman. Sinara ko na naman. Ang eng, eng talaga. Ang kulit. Trigger happy ang kamay. Alright, and of course, we have Doc Lee. Ganda ng wow. Wow. Oo nga. At ayan yung kinikwento niya, di ba? I remember that that episode. I think it was with you ba or was with, with me? That she did yung yung pinaggamitan niya ng ng ano, ng na wet tissue ba yon Or tissue? Ginawa niya into rosette? I think yan yun. Diba? Yung paggamagawa siya ng color, tapos yung ginamit niya na pag-spread ng color, siya gaga- ginagamit niya as a, yan, ganyan, parang background. Ganyan na, walang tapon. Walang tapon, sabi nga niya. Yan, natutunan ko yung kay Doc Lee. Natutunan din yung kay Doc Lee, diba? I don't know kung kaninong episode yon kung kay Papel at iba pa, kung sa atin or sa iyo. Basta, one Ayun, of... sabi ni, ano, sabi ni Wims... Yung ginawa niya is a visual study for a painting she'll give to her mom on her birthday. Ah, ano tawag doon? Visual? Visual study for a painting. Oh, ano kaya ibig sabihin ng visual study? Hindi ko rin alam. But absolutely, <laughs> siguro, something like that. So parang, yung mommy niya yun, parang, ganun, parang self-portrait. Uh, Pero instead of yung self, yung mom niya, ganun ba yun? Oh, parang gano'n. Oo, oh, oh, kita mo, hindi ko alam ang tawag doon, guys. Pardon me. <laughs> so, Pero yun, alam. Description. Oo, oh, oh, yun, description. Ayan. Okay. There you go. Wow, so nice, Miss Tina. No, Miss Tina. Acrylic. Ayan. Galing talaga ni Miss Wims. Galing yung lahat, actually. Same here, love leaves. It's a visual study for a painting I'll give my mom po on her birthday. Miss Tina, pressured the wipes that become flowers. Oo, yun. Naalala ko yan, Miss Wims, eh. Dapat tapusin mo for shorts. Yes, Doc Lee, don't worry. Gagawin niya talaga yan. Biglang naisip ko, nung nakita ko yung colors, oh, another color version. <laughs> O, oh, kasi mo, medyo maganda yung views namin ni Tina sa, sa ano na yun eh, yung series na yun eh. Ayan, sinagot na ni Miss Wims. Visual study po is parang draft lang. Ah, before I do it sa painting. Ah, hindi pa pala. Rough draft lang pa. Grabe, rough draft lang. Ganun na yung effort. Hindi pa pala yan yung totoong painting. So, ganun pala, sa, ganun pala mga artist, no? Gagawa muna sila ng ganyan. Parang template or guide bago nila gawin sa malaki. Ganun pala yan, no? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Kaya pala parang, parang maganda talaga at perfect. Okay, so mag, ano na tayo? Mag-wheel of names ako? Sandali. Anong oras ba yung ho-ho mo? Actually, 9.30 ang umpisa ng bus. Sahabulin ko siya ngayon. I think ang next stop niya na would be Chinatown. <laughs> okay. So, doon ako pupunta na. Tina, Wims, and Dockery. Ayan. Okay. So, paliliitin ko lang saglit. At pupunta kami ulit ni Tina doon sa... Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Uh, the Wheel of Names. Oo, oh, Lalapip. Yan. Okay. Lalapip. And then, let's do... Uh, screen share. Ayan. Sabi ni Wimso, Mommy Lala, I would like to congratulate you for having these streams with awesome guests. I, oh, thank you so much, Miss Wims. Actually, matagal ko na tong ginagawa. I had just had to stop the buttons. Oo. Yeah. Kasi nag-focus lang ako more on talagang yung na crafting ganyan. Pero right now, ibinabalik ko na talagang I would try to invite of course everybody in the community, but at the same time every now and then invite also 
people from beyond our community para mag-grow tayo. You know, sabi ni Helen sa akin, sis, when we were, we, when we saw each other, di ba? Sabi niya sa akin, alam mo, sis, after yung pag, pag-guest ko sa inyo, um, after that, the more daw na mas marami siyang nakilalang mga foreign crafters. Marami siyang mga naging, hindi lang from the US. Kung baga, mas dumami. Siguro na-push din siya ni, ni, ni YouTube, di ba? So, yung having guests uh, from different uh, countries also or from different avenues also helps to grow the channel as well. So, pwede din yun. Ayan. Yeah. So, ayan na po. Okay? Ang winner natin for tonight, okay, is, sorry naman sa kulay. <laughs> Sige, nasa Amerika daw ako, kaya yun yung kulay niya. Okay. Alright, is... Ayan. Baka kasama ko kayo. So, ako at ikaw, kung sino man ang mananalo. Okay, si Doc Ree. Ayan. Doc Ree, oh, congratulations! Oh, you have a Procreate class. Procreate animation using Procreate class kay yes. with Diana. Ayan. Si schedule lang natin, Doc Ree. Mag-usap tayong dalawa kasi tayong dalawa if ever. Yung, Ihanda mo ng iyong masabi. iPad and Procreate app. Mm-mm, correct, correct. Alright, so before I leave, okay, Tina, play, maybe invite them over for uh, Monday. Ano ang mangyayari sa Monday? Hold on, hold on. Wag muna. Teka muna. Okay, go. Okay, so Monday, I'm still in the process of looking for the material <laughs> that I'm supposed to see, to, to use. But if I don't find that, I'm going to do acrylic. Uh, this time, remember I did acrylic paint with leaves? So I'm going to do that paint with skeleton leaves, like the leaves that Wims gave me, and also on a profile of a woman. So yon. Wow! <laughs> Yun yung kicker doon. Profile of a woman. <laughs> Pwede bang stick figure lang? <laughs> woman talaga. Grabe. Ay, napaka-exciting nun, guys. Ha? So, what time is this gonna be again, Tina, for those who might be watching on replay or bago sa ating community? What time do you go live on a Monday? Yes. So, Tina One Kenobi's live stream is always on Mondays at 8pm. Maker Mondays. I'll see you there, guys. Yes. And of course, as much as she can, okay, as long as hindi masyadong busy ang kanyang business din, uh, she tries to upload video, uh, you know, a 3 to 5 minute video uh, once a week. Pero medyo busy pa kasi siya. Maraming nagaganap. Uh, pero coming soon yan. Uh, accountability partner niya ako kaya remind ko siya. Okay, and then... <laughs> Of course, yung shorts niya, very consistent. So, congratulations on that, my dear. Okay, and I'll try to create mine. It's just that pagdating ko, pagod ang pagod na ako. So, wala akong time makagawa ng shorts lately. Oo, oh, oh, talaga. Di ba, tas, uh, iba, iba pa yung schedule. Yan. Anyway, so maraming maraming salamat, everyone. Guys, mag-watch din kayo kay Norman kasi doon gagawin yung raffle. Ha? Hindi ko sure kung sasabihin niya kung kailangan nandun kayo to mine eh. Pero siguro pwedeng hindi. Okay, in the event, hindi kayo makapunta doon. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Wims. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited for that, Tina. Ako din, di ba? Yes, excited much. Ayan. Umaga sa akin yun eh. So, kaya kong maka, maka, tawag dito, maka-join. At saka lunes siya. So, linggo naman sa akin. Alright, Miss Tina. Wala ka bang turo ng Monday? Ha? Mamaya na lang. Ay, naku, <laughs> last day pala ng classes ko yun. Oh, so, 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 Yes, so susunod ako, di ba? Just like usual, uh, I will uh, habol, habol. Better late than never ang peg ko sa Monday. Yes. Uh, uh, but after that, ando na ako live, di ba? In the chat. <laughs> Alright, so again, Tina, thank you so much. And then guys, next week, watch out for it. Kasi live ako with Ma- uh, Crafty Mama Diaries. Of course, kasama si Latina and Charlene. Oo. Pero ako lang, kasama ko si Helen talaga. Doon sa bahay niya. Alright, doon kami magka-craft. Meron silang slumber party. Yes, but it's slumber chica party. Kayo pag-uusapan namin. Slumber party. <laughs> joke. <laughs> no joke, joke yun. Alright, so again, and hopefully makapunta na ako sa craft store. Kasi talaga guys, wala dito sa loob ng DC. Puro federal buildings ang nandito. Pati mga grocery, wala. Doon ka pupunta sa malayo. Malayong malayo talaga. Well, anyways, thank you again, teens. Love you, miss you. Thank you guys for joining. See you again Wednesday for another Crafty Nights here at Mommy Guide Inc. Inc. <laughs> Mommy Guide Inc. <laughs> Mommy Guide Inc. Enjoy your weekends. Bye! <laughs> Nagbakal pa, ludulo na. <laughs>